Happy anniversary to you. Just kidding. Oh, six years. My goodness. It's Comedy Bang Bang's sixth anniversary special. Guests galore. All of that and more. All on today's... Sally sells seashells down by the seashore, but really anyone can pick them up for free. Sally has no business sense. Welcome to Comedy Bang Bang. Yes, six years in, I found my permanent catchphrase. (laughs) Second week in a row, I am loving it. Um, Four years after I've retired, the iconic What's Up Hot Dog. We finally found the one that is going to be permanent, and it's not difficult at all to say, which is what I really enjoy about it. Welcome to Comedy Bang Bang. Stifled a burp, have to admit. (laughs) Six years in, haven't uh, quite figured it out. Just let it go. People would enjoy that. Um, Six years, that's right. Boy, first of all, uh, first week of Ma. And uh, you know what that means? It means uh, anniversary podcast. Six years ago and no score ago today, uh, I walked into a tiny internet radio station and I had a nothing but a dream and several hundred thousand dollars in my bank account, <laughs> <laughs> which enabled me to do that show for free and to coast for a while. Uh, and uh, six years later, boy, who could, who could have imagined? Uh, first of all, who among you out there has been listening since the very first episode? If numbers are to be believed, only about 500 were there to start, and you probably haven't all seen it through. All right, I'm not hearing anything. We're not getting any calls, so I assume no one has been here since the beginning. But how many have heard every single episode? How many are throwing writing implements into a loudly echoing, ringing, metallic container? (laughs) All right, all right. Oh, my gosh. Well, we have a special show here planned for you today. We're uh, recording sound effects all day long. And um, did I say I'm Scott Ackerman? Thank you so much for listening for these uh, past six years. What is a six-year anniversary? Is it a sex, sex... To verse a sex versary, it's probably a sex versary. <laughs> well, I wonder if okay, you know how couples uh, celebrate the anniversary of their first date. They celebrate the anniversary of when they got married. Do they ever celebrate the anniversary of when they first had sex? Uh, you know, like that. Sh- that should be something that that happens, right? Take that out of you. And thank you so much. <laughs> Ah, uh, let the professionals do their jobs is what I say. Um, anyway, uh, and that doesn't make any sense with what I just said. <laughs> let the professionals do their job. It does not relate at all to people celebrating the anniversaries of the first time they had sex. But we'll, we're going to ask uh, each of our guests as we go along. We have some very special guests coming up. Uh, we're going to ask each of them. Uh, when the first time they had sex with their current partner is, when the first time they had sex uh, at all is, and uh, when the first orgasm they ever had was, which I'm presuming would be quite a number of years before or quite a number of years after, depending on uh, the gender of the person listening. Anyway, I'm obviously just stalling as Engineer Cody Cody, who's manning the boards. By the way, Engineer Cody Cody, how long have you been uh, with us on the program? Three, Three years or so. Three years. Fantastic. Uh, He's getting some things in order, and uh, we're about to begin this monumental program. And uh, (laughs) Jesus fucking Christ. First the pens, then the earphone. Now the microphone. Please, sir. Please. Get your shit together and announce yourself, sir. Why didn't you introduce me? Why did you give me a nice introduction? All right. Do you want an introduction? Yeah. Make right. me sound like a big shot. All right. We all know this uh, gentleman from his mug shot and uh, <laughs> his microphone, which is traveling away from him. It's haunted. <laughs> you- oh, no, I, uh, like the brother of the traveling microphone. <laughs> That's not real. That's not. Don't try to rent it. It's not real. <laughs> Just a rent, not a buy. 
<laughs> who, who buys movies? <laughs> That's true. Well, I do. Which movie do you buy? I buy have quite a collection. I love staring at it and never watching them. It's a waste of money. You uh, just try to show off and be a big shot. Well, you have a lot of money. Speaking of a lot of money, well, let, I me, do. let me introduce my next guest. He makes uh, probably a penny for every cake that is ever made. Is that oh, true? It's quite a bit more than that, my friend. <laughs> I'm an artist in the field of cake making. That's right. What? I'm the boss of cakes. The boss of cakes, Buddy Velastro, cake boss. Cake boss, that's right. And what is the art of cakes? What do you call it? I call it a uh, cakeography. Ba- no, that's that's the study of the uh, the surface mass of cakes. Oh, just the outer layer. Yeah. What are the layers? Yeah. We all know the the layers of the earth. Well, are- the crust. Yes, of which course. of course is the bottom of the cake. That would be. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, but I thought that was only in pies. Your good friend, the pie minister, was talking about Ooh, that. Oh, that guy ain't no friend of mine. Oh, really? I don't. Have we ever caught up about this? Did no, you- we have not. He was in here. He framed me for drug driving. <laughs> Why is that so funny to you? It's a crime. I know. It's just I love that the, <laughs> this is now the canonical excuse. You're like a weird sociopath laughing at this. I'm so sorry. No, I don't mean to make light of your troubles. And I am a weird sociopath. But, it is what you're doing. But uh, yeah, last uh, November, I believe, uh, Tears for Fears were in here. and uh, Oh, <laughs> Do you not? Are you not a music fan? Or you only? I like music. What about the uh, band Cake? <laughs> My favorite band. <laughs> yeah, I would imagine. <laughs> what about the Boss? Bruce Springsteen. Bru- of course, I love Bru- I'm from New Jersey. I love Bruce Springsteen. What if they got together? If Bruce Springsteen, uh, oh, ever- Frank Sinatra, <laughs> he's going the distance. <laughs> Oh, he is going. The now you make him, you make him sound angry. It's yeah. not when non New Jersey people do Bruce. It's not good. Yeah, you're a New Jersey guy. So is that why you called yourself that, the Cake Boss based on his bossery? Boss, that's right. I feel like he's the boss. Mm-hmm. I will differentiate myself. Say I'm the boss of this one thing. Right. He's the overall boss. Okay, but would he not be the boss of cakes then? Essentially, the case could be made that so, Bruce Springsteen is the boss overall. If you were making a cake and he came in, would he outrank you? Uh, well, it's like uh, you know, Jesus is God, okay, but uh, he's also the Son of God. <laughs> so uh, you know, if like Jesus is doing stuff, that's great. If God the Father shows up and, and steps uh, then, in, it's like, yeah, I'll hey, bet you mind if I take over here, son? <laughs> Nobody's gonna be like, oh, I don't know who the boss is here. Who do, do you, I listen to? Although I would imagine when Jesus gets to be about seventeen, they would have some sort of face off, like you know, like you can't tell me what to do. You know that he died when he was 33 years old, right? <laughs> so he got past that phase. <laughs> Do you think he ever had an angry, like, what was he like when he was 16 with Joseph? And- well, there's a, there's a part of the Bible uh, where we don't know what happened to Jesus yeah, for he just uh, a bunch of years. Yeah, yeah, it's like a Quentin Tarantino movie. Just like, you know. How so? Well, I guess time isn't all out of order, but there's a huge time jump. I guess it's like uh, the Battlestar Galactica in between seasons, what, two and three? I don't know what you're talking about. Wait, aren't you a big sci-fi guy? No, you're thinking of Ice-T. <laughs> oh, that's right. He likes sci-fi and some fantasy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but you have no idea what I'm talking about when I say the words Battlestar Galactica. I remember Battlestar Galactica from when I was a kid. And the, the robot dog and uh, <laughs> the bio command and all that stuff. I think that, okay, yeah. What about bitty, 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 chill? That's, that's Book Rod. <laughs> so you century. do know. You, you do like sci-fi. I like sci-fi from when I was a kid. Oh, okay. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. <laughs> <laughs> what are we talking about? Oh, yeah, Bruce oh, Springsteen and God in the Bible. Yeah. Do you think that Bruce Springsteen eventually will be in the Bible? Yeah. <laughs> I think they add people all the time, right? They'll just add yeah, a they chapter. Update, they update it like the dictionary. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think so. Every thousand years or so, they should add just one more chapter. Yeah. Like, uh, guess what else is happening now? Yeah, it's like that live from Saturday New, New York. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you should lie down. Well, I think this, this does not seem like a good day for you to be doing this. <laughs> this has been one year too many. <laughs> Live from Saturday New York book. They keep adding to it. What? <laughs> That's not what it's called. <laughs> yeah, but you know what I'm talking about. I know what you're talking about. So then about. What, who cares what I say? Live from Saturday, it's New York? Is that what you said? <laughs> Live from Saturday, it's New York. No. 
<laughs> Look, if you know what I'm talking about, then why split hairs? Because this is how things fall apart. You got to know what words mean. I know what they mean. I just d- didn't say them and pronounce them in the correct order. If you was in school, right, and the, and the teacher corrected your if grammar. If I were in school. Oh, see, that was a trap. <laughs> if the teacher corrected your grammar, you're not allowed to say, but you know what I mean. I the whole that point pitch. is that the, <laughs> that's rude and disrespectful. Rude? It's also I mean, look, a crime. I hate teachers as much as Chris Christie does, but uh, I still think that's rude. Yeah, no. Um, do you have any aspirations to be, become higher than a boss? <laughs> what in your mind is the next uh, ranking? A king, maybe. A king? You yeah. think it goes from boss to king? Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Do you think Do you think Bruce Springsteen ever is going to ascend to king status? Well, between you and me, uh, he's kind of already a king in yeah, New Jersey. I know what you mean. Yeah. You ever see him driving around? Yeah, sometimes you see him. What's he drive? A uh, Cadillac? He drives a beat up old pickup truck. Really, yeah, boy, he's, he's keeping a man it of real. The people. He but really it's, is. it's a Tesla pickup truck. Oh, okay. that he had. Uh, <laughs> it cost ninety five thousand yeah, dollars. He had it sandblasted to look like it's all beat to shit. But uh, <laughs> you know, inside it's like got uh, run by a, an iPad. Yeah. Hey, Cake Boss. Cake Boss. Um, what is? I mean, you were framed for drunk driving, but everything is okay now. Yeah, I'm doing good. You're doing good. Yeah, making I, cakes. You, not enough time. <laughs> How many how many have you made just yesterday? And I apologize for Engineer Cody's fucking severe problems with setting up these microphones. Look, this this microphone stand, there was a problem. It was all loosey goosey. This yeah. guy He uh, fixed it. Yeah, he so fixed it. I apologize to the listeners, I guess what I should be saying. Uh hearing sounds that they should Ooh, you got if you can start apologizing to the listeners, you got a lot <laughs> long list. <laughs> I got you roast. Ah boy. I roasted you. Yeah, you did. That was a good one. You asking how many cakes I made? Yeah. Yesterday? Just yesterday. Yesterday I made one elaborate cake. Really? How many tears? It was not a tear the cake. I mean, technically, maybe it has one tear. I would think you would like the band Tears for Fears because it has tears, like cake tears in it. Is it spelled the same way? (laughs) Yeah. Is it? No. Yeah, that's right. (laughs) You can't fool Cake Boss. Cake Boss. can't? Nope. Oh my god, look behind you! What? Who? Ah, you fooled Cake Boss. (laughs) I gotcha. Um, (laughs) Yesterday, I made one cake. It was... (laughs) <laughs> Not a tea and cake. Nobody ever asked me, hey, Cake Boss, can you make just a cake that's like uh, two layers How about just with a, some frosting like on it? Like a square flat one. Yeah, a sheet cake. <laughs> yeah. No one ever asked me for a sheet cake. I guess you're too I, busy going to the supermarket. I bet if they asked you to make one, it would be the most delicious sheet cake that the, anyone had ever Whoa, eaten. Oh, Gisha McGree, if you ate my sheet cake, you'd be like, if I died and go to heaven and met Jesus, he was no longer in that phase where he's confronting his father about stuff. <laughs> Do you know what, uh, uh, have you ever met a ghost? (laughs) Do you know what kind of cakes they like? I have never been formally introduced to a ghost. (laughs) They like sheet cake. Because of the... The sheet. <laughs> and this has been Riddle Me This. <laughs> All right, play the, play the outro. <laughs> Riddler. Oh, this is a good song. Riddler. <laughs> that was a good song. <laughs> ah, we have a new addition to the Riddle Me This <laughs> theme song. <laughs> um, yesterday, the cake that I made, yeah. it was a challenge to me because it was uh, the base was a round Mm. Base. It was like a total globe. Is that the most? Oh, uh, you meaning spherical? The spherical. Oh my yeah. gosh! I that... didn't know if you knew that word. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Thank you. Is that the most difficult cake to make? Yeah, because you got because you got to make it. A, How do you a beautiful even circle? bake something like that? I would imagine you'd have to constantly turn it. You're constantly turning it. Mm. You're constantly rolling <laughs> things. You're constantly keeping it in the circle shape. Mm-hmm. But and the then, center, and then the center. How is that ever? perfectly well baked while the outsides it seems like they would be even you know oh yeah the way to do it is to be a master cake maker like <laughs> i am <laughs> i'm sorry I that's don't. why i'm the boss of cakes okay I, maybe you have trade secrets you're not willing to share yeah i'm not going to tell everybody mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. Hey, here's a secret i got some cookbooks out there yeah here's what i do i give some wrong instructions <laughs> ah good yeah why would anyone buy like, them because uh, they don't know well i don't announce that on the jacket should they, they Where try do to, you announce They it? try to make the cake. Should it's like, uh, send this one to Cake Rex. I messed this up. Cake Rex? Yeah. You never been there? What's that? Oh, it's my favorite website. It's uh, CakeRex.com. It's people who made terrible cakes. W-R-E-C-K-S? 
Yeah, not R-E-X. It's not dinosaur cakes. <laughs> I thought it was from the new Although some of upcoming them are Jurassic the shape World. Of dinosaur. Uh, no, uh, no, uh, uh, no. Cake uh, Rex would be the most terrifying dinosaur, cake Rex, wouldn't it? That's true, yes. <laughs> Oh, gosh. <laughs> anyway, this cake was perfectly spherical on the bottom, yeah. and then a little smaller cake on the top. Is this a snowman? No, but very close. Mm. It was a BB-8 cake. <laughs> a Big Brother 8? No, what are you talking about? From Star Wars. Oh. The Force Awakens. Ball droid, of course. Ball droid. The little guy ball droid. Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah ball droid. He's and going to roll on out of here. That's right. Yeah. But, uh, you know what's funny? You mentioned that because uh, that's a line from the film. It was in the trailer. Sure. And uh, so I recorded a little. They wanted it to be a functioning cake. Okay. A functioning uh, droid cake. Right. And so he could roll around. Right. And his head moves around and everything. And he looks. He always looks worried. Right. He's like peeking around from a corner or whatever. Like, uh-oh, is ball droid in trouble over? Sure, he has a sense of fear. Yeah. Programmed into it. He's got, yeah, it's very practical. <laughs> it's a robot that's afraid all the time. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, they wanted the ball droid to say something. Sure. And I was like, what do you want him to say? He's like, well, in the trailer, he says, I'm ball droid. I got to roll on out of here. <laughs> and I said, okay, do you want to get the actor in here? And they said, oh, yeah, I actually kind of sound like him. So why don't you just record it? And I was like, so all what right. what did it sound like? It sounded like, I'm ball droid. I got to roll on out of here. <laughs> and they uh, said, perfect, you got it in the first take. <laughs> wow, just like Lionel Richie with yeah. hello. And then they said, we want it because it's orange. It's got orange accent mm -hmm. uh, on this droid. Uh, How'd you make those, though? Could you, what, what well, ingredient? they said, uh, you know, it's really got to be a vivid orange. And, Did they uh, want it to taste like orange, I guess is what I mean. No. Because not everyone would like an orange cake. No, so I, here's the thing. I'll tell you this. Some people like to put fruit in cakes, and I'll do it. Right. But I'm against it. Yeah, I with think a gun to your head. Cake is cake. Well, no. <laughs> if someone It's never you. come to that. <laughs> I mean, I guess, uh, yes, uh, to grant your premise, yes, I would do that if someone put a gun to my head. Sure. I'll put a gun to your head. What? Whoa! Whoa. Who's this? Ho-ho. Oh, my gosh, it's ho-ho. Ho-ho. I'm going to put a fucking gun to your head. <laughs> what? What Make is... me a fruity cake, bitch. What a, str <laughs> what a strange little creature. Oh, what are you? Oh. You're, you're like a weird little supernatural creature. Your tongue is as long as your body. Like you never seen an elf before, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't throw up on the table immediately. Can't uh, help it. Oh my god! Ho ho! Welcome back ho, to ho. the show. Show. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> you uh, let me explain to the uninitiated. Ho ho! Is Santa's naughty elf? Yeah, I bring boy. I bring boys. You bring to the boys. Girls. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that sounds like uh, that's naughty, all right. <laughs> I bring I bring gifts to the bad girls and boys. Why do guns you, and knives. Why do you do this, ho ho? Because everyone deserves a toy at Christmas, even little bitches. <laughs> <laughs> when you say little bitches, do you mean boys and girls who are bad? Yeah, or, shitty okay. little kids. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you were a shitty little kid yourself, right? Yeah, probably. I'm naughty after all. Yep. Does, does, uh, does Santa Claus classify them as uh, little bitches? <laughs> He won't say that word. Does he call them shitty kids? Yeah. yeah. Oh, he does say that. He thinks bitches is derogatory <laughs> to women. Oh, well, that's very progressive of Santa Claus. Does he not mind calling the, the men? Uh, men. <laughs> <laughs> the little men? The, the men of Christmas? Young men? <laughs> yes. <laughs> he calls them bitches. Ah, good. He calls them bitches, yeah. but he won't call the women bitches. Yeah. Yeah, great. <laughs> oh, ho, ho. Welcome. You're you, throwing up a lot. Cake Boss, this, Cake uh, boss, this I just is... traveled in. From from whence? From North Pole. Oh, <laughs> North Pole Pole. North Pole Pole gives me barf when I fly. <laughs> How do you Give get here barf. again? Do you fly commercial? Uh, yeah, I have to go through the TSA. <laughs> Why don't you do the pre? Hundred dollars? No way. It's only eighty five, and it lasts for five years. Yeah, well, the money on the gas to get there. <laughs> but you get the. <laughs> you're very stingy. You're a stingy little naughty well, elf. Santa doesn't pay well, right? He doesn't pay anything. Just in candy canes. Candy canes? That's my dick. You're confusing yourself. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> I've been licking that candy cane since you came in here. Thank God you. damn! Oh, jeez. I didn't want to say anything. It was <laughs> well, you peculiar. Knew. I never told you, but I come snow. <laughs> oh God! I Cold, oh. isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> um, hey, uh, ho ho! We were talking well, to Cake Boss about a cake, cake he made, and I, I wanted to ask one question before we got off the topic. Yeah. you didn't happen to put cinnamon in this cake, did yeah, you? Yeah, 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 for the orange color. How how much cinnamon did you put into it? Oh, let's see. Uh, Not too much, I hope. 
Oh, I don't remember. It was late at night. Of course, I was under the gun. Mm-hmm. Uh, not literally, as we discussed before, but <laughs> figure, I did a figurative gun. That's how that expression got started, by the way. Yeah. People you know used to just put guns at the back of people's heads to do anything. I miss those days. <laughs> <laughs> how old are you? A million. <laughs> <laughs> Suck it. A million years? I will not. You are very rude. <laughs> I could climb your whole body and put my dick in your mouth before you even notice. Oh, don't do it. Did you do it? I didn't notice. <laughs> so how much cinnamon did you put in? I mean, uh, Well, I remember it was late at night. I was getting very sleepy. Certainly. Uh, I've been working all day on this spherical You sleep cake. during the night, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm not a Dracula. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So uh, so it's past my bedtime, and uh, I'm pouring cinnamon into this thing, and I remember uh, pouring, like, starting with a full container, and then I must have dozed off, off, and then I woke up, and the container was empty. So, uh, But the cake was done. The cake was done. And what happened to this cake? Uh, I gave it to the people. Oh, no. What? Uh, I, cake Boss, I hate, cake to, boss. I hate to remind you what happened the last time you put too much cinnamon into a droid cake. That R2-D2 cake. Yeah, it was sentient. It achieved sentient. It came to life. It came to life, and then I had to kill it by eating it to death. <laughs> yeah. Do you think the same thing happened? Maybe the clients who asked for this cake have a sentient droid cake. Well, I hope not. Who was the, the cake for? It was for George Lucas <laughs> okay. and J.J. Abrams. They were going to eat it together. Together? Yeah. They were going to Lady in the Tramp style start That's right. One. They were going to start at one end. <laughs> the first, they were going to chase it around the room. Like, uh, <laughs> sure. you know, you try to chase a chicken yeah. uh, to become a- uh, To flirt with it. To flirt. What? Hey, you know, you put words in my mouth, ho-ho. Hello. <laughs> Shut up, King Boss. King Boss. <laughs> Wait, I never realized you guys both repeat your own names. What are you talking about? What do you mean? <laughs> okay, never mind. <laughs> so they're going to chase little BB-8 around the room. Yeah. Finally catch it. Tackle him. Behead it. Yeah. Well, no, they, you don't have to behead it. It's well, cake. it's alive. I guess it is now. They might have to behead it if they want to, if they want to eat it to death. Well, I, f- as far as I can tell, he doesn't make any noise other than shake. I'm ball droid. I got to roll on out of here. That's the one line that you That's recorded. That's the one line that I recorded. Yeah. Okay. Well, good luck to them. Yeah. Good luck to them. I got paid. <laughs> I brought you a present. Oh, thank you, Ho Ho. Because it's your sixth anniversary, huh? Uh, and the traditional gift on your sixth anniversary is wood. Because okay. I brought you a steak to kill a vampire. Oh, thank you. Very well, practical. Very, it's it's good thing that you said you were not a Dracula because I Ooh, would, yeah. I just about was ready to stake you. So yeah, I got it. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on a second. You just you give it a, a, a vampire steak uh-huh. and then you just assume that I'm a vampire? Better safe than sorry. That's, that's who you sound like, the cowboy poet of the West, oh, Paul Wilcox. True. We don't want to get people's hopes up. He's not here. Nope. And he won't be. <laughs> no, sir. No, no. No, no. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Uh, did you fashion this steak yourself from yeah. a, a larger piece of wood? I made it out of some of Santa's sleigh. He'll notice next Christmas. Oh, what? No. When he can't fly. No. The, does Santa Claus use his sleigh throughout the year for anything? No. It just shits there dormant until Christmas time. Yeah, it time. shits there dormant. <laughs> hey, don't make fun of my accident from New Jersey. Wait, does this steak fly if it's if it's out of Santa's flying steak? Oh, that's a good question, Scott Oxman. Here, I'm wow. going to jump astride it. One second. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! He's, he's flying Whoa! Harry Potter style. Whoa! Like he's on the Whoa! Quidditch pitch. Alakazamus, Kazookas, wow! What did he say? Something about- Wow! Why did he say Manzoukas? It's a uh, made-up word. Well, I assumed I needed to say that to fly, so. No, oh, you- we shouldn't get the hopes up about that either. <laughs> yeah, no, no, he's out here. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, well, th- thank you. So what did you bring me, Cake, uh, cake Boss? Cake Boss? Uh, I assume you brought ooh, a cake. Yeah, you are the cor- boss of cakes. Of course I did. Now, I've been experimenting with uh, different materials, cake materials. <laughs> oh, and this okay. Is- this is a long... A uh, rectangle of uh, cake. It's spearmint flavored, uh, and uh, uh-huh. it comes in a special silver oh, wrapper. It's like gum. Shut up! You shut up, ho ho. Okay. Well, this is a small cake. I mean, this yeah. is uh, yeah. It's just a little cake I for you. Personal, it? personal cake. Okay. Here, let me. There you go. And look, you can chew it for a long time. Uh, I made it. It's not like any it, cake so- I've ever heard of. No, that's because I have the balls of cakes. So uh, make sure you don't swallow it or a cake tree will grow in your belly. You like Willy Wonka? <laughs> that cake? guy, all he made was candy. <laughs> cake boss. Cake boss. What? Thank you so much for this cake. You're welcome. Oh, cake I've ever eaten. Oh, special oh, rectangle cake for you. Thank you so much. Okay. He won't stop hugging. 
<laughs> We're going to take a break. When we come back, we'll have more Cake Boss, more Ho Ho, more oh. 6th Anniversary. We'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> comedy Bang Bang, we're back here, of course, with uh, uh, Hey, buddy. welcome back to Comedy Bang Bang. Buddy, this is, is. Welcome back, Blit. This is my show. This isn't you guys' show. We run the show. Ho, ho. Uh, yeah, we're okay. running the show now. All right, go ahead. Hey, welcome back to Comedy Bang Bang time. What are you going to talk about? Uh, hey, let's talk about traffic. It's uh, crazy out there, guys. I don't deal with it. Uh, I well, fly above everyone. Uh, no, I don't, I don't deal with it because I'm stuck in the cake kitchen all day long, so I never get stuck in traffic, and certainly not uh, after I've been drinking. This show's boring. <laughs> I miss Scott. <laughs> Hey, welcome back, everyone. Scott's back. Uh, and they go back to their cupcakes. Um, <clears throat> guys, pretty, that was a pretty good show, though. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Oh, you one, got of the, notes? one of the shortest podcasts in history, I think. Um, with six years. Welcome back to the show. We're here, of course, with Buddy Velastro, Cake Boss, hey, boss. and Ho-Ho the Naughty Hello. Elf. And uh, a friend of mine dropped by. I wanted to introduce uh, him. He's not been on the show before, uh, but I thought, hey, why not, after six years, have someone that has never been on before? So this is my German friend, Klaus. Yes, it's uh, so good to be here again. Yes, uh, again, well, no, this is your first time. <laughs> this was an old yes. German joke uh, to trick you, you see? But uh, it's it's good to be here. Thank you, Scott, and so so good to see you. Yeah, Klaus Schneider. Yeah, yes. we, were, we were meeting when you were backpacking in Germany that one year. That's true, man. I, how many months I was doing that. It was so amazing. I was just out of college. Yeah. And uh, I thought, what better way to spend my time than backpack throughout Europe? And how, I, I mean, in Germany, I spent about... Uh, well, uh, at least uh, at least a few weeks there. Yeah. Where we uh, showed you all the sites, showed you all the dance halls. Mm-hmm. And we took I couldn't all- believe how many dance Dance halls there were. How yes. many dance halls? Oh, there were like 168. I yes, think. 168 total in German in Germany, and we went to about uh, 46 of them. Yeah. It was absolutely. You spectacular. showed me the other ones. Yes, yes, on, yeah, at least on the outside, but we only go to the inside of the very special ones. Yeah, yeah. Mm. So, and we didn't do any dancing. No, I never. <laughs> no, no, it's so pedestrian to yeah. dance. <laughs> yeah. Why were we so interested in that? I can't recall. We didn't I, want. We didn't like dancing. Oh, I thought you had said. No, I never said anything. Oh, like that, that was such a, a hilarious mistake in oh. hindsight. Now, yeah, I mentioned my favorite Wang Chung song was "Dance Hall Days." Yes, yes, I, 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 I don't know the song. I'm not familiar with it. I no. know it. I know it too. Let's hear Wanna it. Sing it. Yeah. And we dance, dance all night, night. and, and dance, dance all days. days. <laughs> we were cool and <laughs> Christ. And I, you, <laughs> and everyone we do, we were we there, here, here, and everywhere, everywhere we go. go. Yeah. That's probably better than the original version. Yeah, that was uh, spectacular. Wow. That was amazing. <laughs> yes, incredible uh, rhythm and all types of uh, t- tuneful singing. Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> now, Klaus, uh, I-, I remember uh, we went backpacking. I spent several months with you, and then yes, uh, uh, backpacking. Where we call it uh, Geschwindigkeiten. Yes, of course. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I remember the the our, my last day there. Uh, yes. You were you were asleep. Yes, and I was. I, I didn't want to wake you up, so I just took off, and we haven't spoken since. And yes, we- I wanted to ask you about that. Uh, I guess my primary question would be why why did you not wake me i thought we had a spectacular time well i looked at uh i remember you had set your alarm for yeah. 10 a.m 10 a.m did we had was, agreed upon it that yeah. we would set out about 10 a.m and it was 9 57 i was like you know what i'm gonna let this guy sleep for three that four is minutes. so disappointing and frankly quite heartbreaking because i was dead set on waking up at the same time going and get breakfast i would i would have yeah. shown you waved at you at the train station it would have been so special i thought you know what this guy has my email i'm sure he'll but i it. didn't you never wrote it down. You always told me you would write it down and you never did. Well, I, I'm starting you know, to think that you were just kind of being nice to me. I, I was being nice to you. Thank you so much. It's nice to hear that my efforts were appreciated. I can't believe it. I spent two two to three weeks uh, showing you around the Germany country. Yeah. Oh, it's a beautiful country, <laughs> by so the way. So disappointing there, Scott Augerman. <laughs> But you know, I, it's been twenty years. I haven't seen you in that long. And uh, yeah. what, what have you been up to lately? Uh, I've been uh, just sort of tra- uh, tra- traipsing about. Tramping? Uh, no, not tramping. Oh, okay. uh, tramping? Just, tramping? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> this this man knows exactly what I am talking about. <laughs> I get the wanderlust sometimes. You got to wa- yeah. Where have you been? I, I I've tramped around uh, the United Kingdom, oh. uh, Soviet Russia. It's, My goodness! It's quite, it's quite uh, nice, actually. Surprisingly nice behind the Iron Curtain. Mm, yeah, a lot of snow there, I would imagine. Yes, in the winter, but in the summer, n- none. Really? I Zero? bring snow in the summer. 
What does that mean? <laughs> My cum is snow. Oh, you're just talking about the coming? Uh, it's out of. Uh, do you have a peener or a. a, a well, you've, you've a been. Hold s- like candy cane you've been kinda. sucking on since you walked in here. Yeah, that's, you didn't notice. It's in your mouth. <laughs> that's, oh. that's his penis. Hey, you want a blast oh. of cold air? Yeah, yeah please. <laughs> oh, that is quite frosty. It's like, that, it's like that gum they used to make that you chew the gum and then What's it gum? squirts out. What's that? What's gum? Uh, you know. Uh, no, I've never heard of it. It's like soft mints. Wait a minute. You don't want to tell him. Uh, no, wait, I, wait a minute. This cake uh, you brought me earlier. Yeah, you still chew it. It's cake? delicious. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Anyway, you were saying... Well, I've been, uh, I, I suppose I've been uh, making uh, jewelry. Mm, jewelry. <laughs> jewelry? Jewelry. I'm, I'm excited yes. to hear He's what that means. He's clearly saying jewelry. <laughs> <laughs> what, what are you saying? What is your, you, you say jewelry? Is this what American <laughs> no, says? No. No, yeah. it, no, no, it's not. Am I pronouncing it wrong? No, you're pronouncing it correctly. <laughs> pronouncing? <laughs> what is that? How dare you make fun of my action? <laughs> Where are you from? I'm from New Jersey. Oh, okay. This is a state in the Americas? That's right. The God State. The and God State? The go- <laughs> state of the God? Well, so, some would argue yes, <laughs> because it's where Bruce Springsteen is from. He's just a boss. He's not a God. Well, what is, what is God if not the ultimate boss? Well, that's true. It's true. It is a boss of uh, all of all of the world and all of known things. Are you a uh, religious man? No, I never have been. Yeah, we never talked about this when we were backpacking. It's true. We only talked about uh, sexual exploits. <laughs> <laughs> I had so many, I remember, that I just it took me several months. I wanted to leave Germany probably like day two, but yeah, I just had well, so many sexual exploits. Well, together. they were never to the uh, how you say the maximum because I remember you, you were talking about uh, you came to Germany a virgin and you wanted to leave not a virgin, and it, it never happened under my watch, <laughs> right. uh, even though I put you in the middle of some very uh, compromising situations. <laughs> yeah, there were some really <laughs> sticky situations. Pardon yeah, my pun. Uh, but. Sticky is quite an accurate term. <laughs> <laughs> ha, 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 ha. I love your laugh, by the way. I, I don't know if I ever told you that when we it's were back so free. Ha, ha, ha. It makes me laugh to hear it. Yeah, huh? me too. <laughs> Please. Ha, 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 ha. The three of you just have wonderful laughs I can ha. listen to for hours. I laugh like a machine gun. <laughs> You're also holding a machine gun. Yeah. <laughs> and that machine gun sounds like a fart? Yep. It's a prank. <laughs> wow. And it smells like a fart, too, I'm noticing. Poopy. <laughs> this little uh, boy or girl is quite... Uh, we haven't figured that I'm out. I'm genderless. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. It has a candy cane penis, but <laughs> what, do you have a vagina as well? It, my, my, it's not a penis. It just works like genitals. Yeah, it's not a so penis, it's... Scott. It just works like one. Open your mind. <laughs> okay, it's so a candy cane that works like a penis. You're but really I'm, on board with this, Klaus. It's a well, penis it... and a vagina, because look, I can go in and out. That's incredible. <laughs> See, in Germany, we don't judge this. Mm. You know, here in America, you will only have a close mind and judge it with uh, with judgment. Mm-hmm. and uh, Jury will... and executioner. Yes, yes. We'll, you can't wait to put handcuffs on it. But here, back in Germany, we would accept it and put you in a parade, maybe a celebrate you. Mm, a parade. Yeah. Is your candy cane-shaped penis when it goes inside and makes a vagina? Is it also candy cane shaped with a little hook at the end? Yeah, it hooks to catch whatever's coming in. <laughs> Yo, ho, ho, you uh-huh. should you should go to Germany because uh, over there, like Craigslist, there might be somebody putting an ad in there saying, like, I hope someone will slip my throat with a shopping candy cane. Yeah. I go to Germany all the time. <laughs> oh, oh. When's the last time you were there? For, for Christ knocked. <laughs> Uh, Christ? Cr- cr- the Night of Christ? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yes. Do you celebrate that, Klaus? Nine, I told you. I'm not, uh, not religious. Well, I mean, not all holidays are only celebrated by religious people. Oh, yeah. Is it also a federal holiday? Well, yes. I mandatory. I have to uh, celebrate it, but I, I do, do not. Do you in- go into work on that day? No, it's to, you're, to, you're told not to. Mm-hmm. Oh, <laughs> so you always do what you're told. Well, I'm Oh, not- are you a good little boy? <laughs> yeah. You I- do what you're told all the time? I try to be, yes. Oh, yeah, you try? Yes. Yeah, when did you fuck up? <laughs> well, I don't want to admit it here on a radio, but... Uh, it's there not was... a radio, it's a podcast, so go ahead. Okay, well, there was one time when I uh, f- I fucked up, I committed a Gschlagerheine. Um, it was when I was uh, sort of walking a young boy, you know, after school, I volunteered to walk a boy. Oh, is that a thing in Germany? Where <laughs> yes, you can volu- Every adult has to volunteer for one boy? Yes, yes, you can walk, uh, you can personally walk a boy. And I was walking him, and uh, uh, we came up across the road, you know, where you're supposed sure. to cross it. Yeah, that happens all the time when you're out taking walks. Yes. It's a I'd, big part of walking. Yes, yes, yes. And I, I went down to tie my shoe, and I looked up, and he uh, had been hit by four different uh, buses, oh. uh, one after the other, until he was only mush. Going in, uh, in different <laughs> directions, like both directions on the road? 
they all combined they all came from different directions and uh, they mm. intersected at him oh my so wait uh, is this in the middle of an intersection yeah, like a four way intersection four way intersection <laughs> look it was trust, <laughs> trust me it was a big uh, screw up <laughs> were the stoplights out at the time but and, hold on oh. a second how is this your fault <laughs> yeah. all you did was tie your shoe but and then these four bushes they just uh, they just collided together into, into, into each in, other into yes a, yes but my friends uh, did my, my, the task that day was not to tie my shoe my task was to walk a boy <laughs> and I did it I failed it horribly and I will, I'm not allowed on the committee I mean one would say you walked him what straight co- into some buses hold on a second what committee there's a committee to select boys or to, to select the gentlemen who walked them it's oh. quite a sophist- it's quite this a, sounds like a German thing nine, yeah. it's quite prestigious uh, our chancellor's on there mm. um, Angela Merkel yeah she's on there the the <laughs> the, the, the Reich Kukula oh, oh what's their <laughs> name <laughs> <laughs> right, Googlein is uh, her na- uh, his name is uh, Fran and Ali. Fran and Ali, yeah. Oh, right, yeah, of course. <laughs> and they all. Uh, and, so and you I had to sit, on sit in front of this tribunal, essentially. Oh yes, there was quite a tribunal. Oh my gosh! They played a uh, very hard uh, dance music uh, <laughs> for every entrance for, because there was quite a procession. There was mm. twenty members. Uh, twenty members. Uh, yes, but I was also the fifth uh, ex member up for tribunal that day. Oh, who else? What uh, What were the other fuck ups? That well, one. One gentleman was walking a boy, and he um, <laughs> just deals with boy walking. Oh yes, it, it was uh, only the tribunal of uh, uh, boy walkers. What about women or little girls? Do they ever get walked? Uh, uh, well, that 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 hasn't happened since the sixties. Oh, okay. <laughs> you're so you're so caught up in your own world, Scott Ogham. Okay, well, I'm just asking questions. You know, you, yes, the Americans know all about American history, but they have no idea sure. what happened about uh, German history or yeah. any history outside of America. I apologize. Yeah. What about Hitler? Yeah, he was there. <laughs> wait, he was there when? At the tribunal? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, uh, <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a see, minute. See, this is what I'm talking about. You think you guys have no idea that he's still around and making decisions. <laughs> did, he wa- did he walk a boy into a shower? He's one of the premier... Yeah. Oh, hey, ho, ho. Oh, wow. <laughs> I was going to say, you didn't say your catchphrase. I was worried there for a second. <laughs> he's one of the premier boy walkers. Now, he's quite old at the moment, but he's... Uh, <laughs> He he's, he's, he's been he's the poster man for walking boys. He was the poster man for a lot of things. Nine uh, walking boys is his most greatest achievement. Yeah, yeah, I guess he's been doing that the longest. Yeah, but uh, well, yeah, I, I guess that's true. Quite a few years yeah, before. Yeah. Well, what have you been doing the longest in your life? Well, I mean, not talking to you, I guess. Yeah, and that's what you're known for. <laughs> Ah, uh, ho ho. Hello. That's what you're saying? <laughs> oh, no, no, that's not what you say. <laughs> ho ho to you, Scott. <laughs> that's not your catchphrase. I guess, well, we can all switch ca- catchphrases if we want. Cake you phrases. want else? Cake phrases. Ha ha ha. Cake boss. Ha ha ha. Uh, it is a cake boss, so you're the boss of all boss, the cakes. I'm the boss. Cake boss. I'm the boss. Cake boss. I'm the boss. Cake boss. Cake boss. I'm the boss of all. We are doing it. Oh, my wife. Ha ha ha. I'm the boss of all cakes. That's right. <laughs> That's impressive. Did you um did you run for some type of position where you elected out of it, or was it after years of hard work? Yeah. Did Bruce Springsteen appoint you as oh. the as the general boss? I, you know, it's a story that I've told for many years. Oh, well, you've was, never told it on this we had, We had a tribunal of our own in New Jersey just... where uh, the boss, Bruce Brinkstein, he, nom- he, he <laughs> named everyone bosses of different things. Mm, it yeah. was sort of like the, the Book of Genesis when uh, Adam and Eve named the animals. Oh, so wow. is he sort of, uh, does he have uh, some sort of uh, uh, cape of power or scepter or something that uh, gives him so much power? Yeah, he's got like a denim cape. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. does, he ha- does he have an extra microphone and that's why everyone on his band has to share all the time because he's using it for these tribunals? He he has this microphone that he dips in uh, holy water and then he uh, touches you on the forehead. I pray and, it's uh, not hooked up to electricity uh, dipping no. in water like that. I think it, it just amplifies under its own power. Maybe there's a battery in it like a Mr. Microphone. <laughs> okay, that's probably... I'll um, be back to pick you up later. That's... <laughs> <laughs> What is this a joke? Uh, I'll be <laughs> back really. to pick you up later. Uh, well, Scott and I have a running challenge. See who can put the oldest reference <laughs> into a the podcast. Last two people I think so. who would give a shit about yeah, that? Yeah, probably. Yeah. What is this? I don't. I still don't understand. It's a Mr. I'm microphone trying. is a great American invention. Where yeah. it's a microphone, a commercial you can tune yeah. into a, a transistor radio and you walk around. Oh uh, yeah, the, you this, can like the walk Schlieger's, down the... Schlieger's, Schlieger's yeah, yeah, that's what they call we, a jerk. We have it in. Uh, I remember the commercial. Schlieger's yeah. Schlieger's. 
a sign of go to sleep now, go to sleep. If you don't, go to sleep. I'll come to your dreams. This roughly translated. Oh my god, that sounds awful. <laughs> it's not awful. It's for playthings, oh. for playing and with the kids. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. yeah. It, was the, it was the greatest disappointment of my life when I realized that that commercial was not true to life because the women that he was broadcasting on my, Mr. Right. Microphone would have to have it tuned to like a really low 88.1 station that doesn't transmit anything but a Mr. Microphone. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, uh, for, uh, for the people who haven't seen this commercial who, uh, you know, have been bored in the last uh, 25 years uh, <laughs> or more, uh, th- there's a guy, <laughs> Mr. Microphone, broadcast through a transistor radio, and then this guy's in a convertible, and uh, he sees two uh, attractive ladies. And, uh, he picks up his Mr. Microphone. Picks up, picks my, Mr. And says, microphone. hey, hot stuff, I'll hey, be back to pick you up. Yeah, come on. Wait. Hey, good looking, good I'll looking, be back sorry. to pick you up later. I'll be back to pick you up later. And, then, and they hear it on, or she hears it on this radio. That's and, right. Yeah, but it well, could she, not. Presumably, it, she stays exactly where she is <laughs> yeah. and waits for that guy where does he have to, to finish go? his errand <laughs> and then the come part. back and have sex. What is he doing? That's so much more important. My would, favorite. Would it would be now a good time to encourage your listeners to, to look it up on the internet for the YouTube. Look com. it up, listeners. <laughs> look, look it up. Clap, clap. Look it up, listeners. Look it up. Clap, clap. Look it up, listeners. It's going high. Come on, clap, clap. Now go. Oh, how come you don't how don't you go clap? You just say clap clap. I'm so tiny you would be able to hear my claps. Oh, good I have point. To say it. Good point, ho ho. Ho ho! How do you have such a a booming voice? I'm using a Mr. Microphone. <laughs> oh, you are? Yeah. Are you gonna be back to pick us up later? Yeah, my sleigh, bitch. <laughs> wow, that is uh, quite a confrontational little mite. My goodness. <laughs> well, Klaus, I, I have to ask, uh, did you pass the tribunal or you were not allowed? I guess you probably Yeah, what said did Hitler that. say? <laughs> he said uh, he was quite disappointed. In me, he had a uh, higher, <laughs> high, uh, he had a uh, higher, higher expectations, dr- higher expectations yeah. for me, and he put me on a little airplane, and we went down to, uh, well, we went out to Italy, which was uh, I had a lovely time there, <laughs> just me and a Fuhrer, it was nice. Wait, so you got a vacation out of this? Not a vacation, just a stern talking to one and one, uh-huh. because I at one point was his boy that he walked. Oh, Do you understand? Oh, so sure. to me, to him, I'm yeah. still a boy that he must walk around. So is yeah, this boy that died his grand boy? What? Grand boy. <laughs> no, he doesn't call me his grand boy. He still calls no, me the his boy. No, the boy that, the boy that uh, died that you were walking. Oh, he it? was not the, 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 the grand boy of the Führer. Oh, my God. That would, would be, the, the, I would be dismembered. <laughs> but, but so grand boy definitely is a thing. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but it's a whole different okay. society. Okay, okay, good, right, good. You go, you go walking the grand boy, guys. Oh, it's uh, in in okay. in, in uh, uh, German. It's German. It's a geheime geschlossen Bagger. So, mm-hmm. uh, I, got, I gotta ask: Did he like his uh, cameo in Inglorious Bastards? He he, uh, he was. Uh, this is his favorite DVD of it at the moment. Yeah. Did now, it, didn't Quentin Tarantino want to put him in the movie as himself, like revitalize his career, like he did with John Travolta? Do you know there is a uh, some kind of uh, he uh, the Führer has just changed agents at the moment. Oh, <laughs> who's he with oh. now? Is he did he go to UTA? UTA? He well, went to UTA. Yeah, 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 sure, yeah, sure. Yeah, we all did. We yeah, all did. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. It's quite. It's quite a time. We're, we're all a UTA. <laughs> we certainly are. Aren't yes, we? he was in the comedy department at CIA, and yeah, now it's over at yeah. UTA. Ah, uh, inside. <laughs> I love it. Well, gosh, yeah, inside, uh, inside um, uh, football. Okay. Inside football. Dude, is that what you call soccer, by the way? Yes. What do you call... What do you mean is this? Soccer. Nine. No, uh, no. no nine. What is, uh, why would you call it soccer? Soccer. I, I don't know. Why do we call it soccer? I mean... Uh, I don't know. I guess because uh, we want to be different. USA number one. And why do we call football football? I know this is well-trod territory, but... You Keep going, I mean? though. But, like, we only touch it with their foot at the least exciting points of the game. Maybe because it's shaped like a foot. The, is it shaped like a foot? It's, it's, it's what, the most foot shaped of all the balls. Let me see your feet. All right. Oh God, that's disgusting. That's shaped like a football. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh God. Yeah. Well, well, what's your of... foot shaped like? Well, check it. It's shaped like a foot. Ooh, so flat. <laughs> uh, like a clown. What's that? Are you like a clown? In what way? Whoa, 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 whoa. Nine, nine, just because oh. your feet are so uh, oh, bulbous. Oh, yeah, do something funny. Yeah. What? Why well, do a joke for us? <laughs> why is everyone attacking the king boss? Put on some makeup. Yeah, will you put on some makeup and dance around and like a, a girl? What's happening? Yeah, God. dance like a girl. That'd be funny. Why hold on, hold on. Leave him alone. This is my friend, Cake Boss. Cake he boss. gave me a wonderful cake. It's true. A flat spearmint-shaped cake. <laughs> was it shaped like a spearmint? Oh, well, well it, tasted it tastes like, like one. spearmint, yeah. All right, well, well fuck you. All right, flat... pile back on it. <laughs> do a dance, do a dance. Do a dance, girl. I'm going right. to shoot a 
at your feet. I'm, hey, hey, I'm dancing. Dance, I'm dancing. Dance, I'm dancing. Dance, right, dance, right, we, have to, we have to take a break. We'll be right back. Why he's laughing? With more comedy bang bang. He's laughing into a ham microphone. Ha ha ha. <laughs> Comedy Bang Bang, we're back here. Uh, of course, my good friend Klaus had to go. I uh, oh man, I forgot to give him my email. Ah well, oh, no. Oh well, I'll see him in another twenty. Um, and Cake Boss is here, and hey, of boss. course, Ho Ho the Naughty Elf. Ah! And uh, uh, I have a, a, a great uh, person to introduce here on the show now, uh, new to the program. Do you want to introduce yourself, or should I just say... Well, yes, it is I, the timekeeper. Of course, the timekeeper. Welcome yes, to the show. Yes, I, I observe and celebrate time. Yes, of and course you And I was so excited to be here, as you to, to, to know that you are here celebrating the passage of time. The sun has, re- or, the, or we've re- re- revolved around the sun, I don't know. Yes. Oh, yes, the Earth boy. has revolved around the sun six times. Yes. Good, w- good work, Copernicus. How many times does the moon do it? A million. <laughs> that, that seems inaccurate. It moves really fast. Yeah. So uh, yeah. I've been around longer than all of you guys since Native Americans. Yeah. Have you observed? How old are you, Timekeeper? Are you- I am thirty-one years old. <laughs> <laughs> you have such an ancient, aged voice. Oh, yes, and, and I wear this midnight blue cloak yes. with a starfield lining. Yeah, why are you, I mean, you, but you're <laughs> just a you guy. I thought you were like in your 50s, maybe. <laughs> yes. I thought 31. you were 85. No, no, I'm 31 <laughs> years old. Okay, well, welcome to the show. You're just like, a dude. I'm a man. I observe time. I celebrate time. Okay, I yeah. work in my brother-in-law's watch repair store. Oh, is there a lot of call for that these days? Oh, I mean, yes, yes. People get their watches repaired. Not and a lot of people watching uh, <laughs> watching wearers. No, wearing watches, though. Oh, <laughs> with, there well, are businessmen you know. and, and status symbol seekers. They mm. love <laughs> having a time. Timepiece like, upon their very wrist, like James Bond or something. Yes, like, yes. Yeah. And then when it's in for repair, the, the most famous watch wearer in know, history. Every time there's a new James Bond movie, it seems that's when I see the most watch ads, and it's always like him <laughs> wearing it. You know what I mean? That's a, that's like, a fair point, Scott. I, I never see watch ads until every three years when a Bond movie comes out. But yes, yeah, so when they have their watches in for repair, I call them. To let them know what time it is mm. regularly. That's what makes you the <laughs> timekeeper? Well, no, that's just how I pay my bills, but I'm more the timekeeper in a, in a general sense. Wait, but so this is part of the service that you and your... Who, who are you with again? Your, uh, my brother. Your brother-in-law. Brother-in-law, yes. Brother-in-law. So yeah, you're, you're... Desmond Longo. Okay, are you married to Desmond's <laughs> sister, or is No, he... he's married to my very sister. Oh, who... <laughs> <laughs> Did she change her name to Longo? Yes. Oh, that's nice. Yes. What, what was the maiden name? Keeper. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Time? Her name is Eleanor Keeper. Oh, okay. What's your name? Maxwell Keeper, the Time Keeper. Oh, okay. Very good. Very good. Thank you. Thank I, you. I thought it was going to be Tim E. Keeper. I wish I, I asked my parents if they could change it. And they said that was something I had to take care of myself. Why, why, why did you, you do it? Yeah, you just go to the courthouse. I wish I had the time. <laughs> well, it's ironic. Oh, ironic. That's ironic. very ironic. Yes, I've spent all my time <laughs> observing. I leave none for myself. Right. So you and your brother-in-law are at this, and that's part of your duties at he the shop? He repairs watches, and while people have their watches in for repair, I call them regularly every <laughs> ten minutes or so <laughs> to let them know what time it is. Since what time son's is it? Watch. Oh, what time is it right now? Right now? Let me check the sun. Yes. <laughs> wait, this is how you're doing it? Is this, yes. why, is this why you say ten minutes or so? Because it's uh, yes, yes. Every I look every ten minutes of sun time, and I, <laughs> oh, I call Call them, and I go, well, it's now 310. You're in go. a watch repair shop. There's plenty of what? Oh, well, broken, That's the least reliable place watches. to tell a time. Hey, hey, Scott Oxman, shut up for a second. Yes, uh, yes, Timekeeper, yes, can, yes. can we role play one of these phone calls? Like, let's say I'm a customer. I dropped off my watch at yes. uh, Long Go. This is exciting. Sure. This is like watching an improv show. Yes. <laughs> what? Hmm? What are you talking about? Impro- yeah, improv show? No, you, mm. neither of you? Neither of us. <laughs> What's oh, improv? you say neither. You're... you're He's a fancy guy. Okay, <laughs> He's yeah. got a cloak. Yes. Okay. I want to be the receptionist. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah Let's yeah. all get it on it. So yeah, okay. I, like, uh, I drop my watch off, right. and uh, so you're calling me to tell every 10 minutes yes, yes. to tell me what time it is. Yes. All right, so uh, the phone rings. Uh, hello? 
Hello, this is the Time Store. <laughs> I have Maxwell Timekeeper. No, no it's put the Timekeeper. Put him right through, please. Oh, what's that? I hear some cl- some chattering in the background. I have the Timekeeper on the phone for you. Uh, yes, Thank please you. put him through. Okay. Yes, hello, Timekeeper? It is now 9.20 a.m. <laughs> Honey, who are you on the phone with? Hold on a second, that's my wife. Uh, Honey! Yeah, who are you? Who's on the phone? Is it for me? No, dear. I'm talking to the timekeeper. My watch is still in the shop. Who, who's the timekeeper? He's a guy who calls me every ten did minutes. You, did you take those boxes up from the from the basement like I asked you to? Yes, dear. I asked you twenty minutes ago. Have you done it? Yes, I got two phone calls, so I know for sure. So it's done. Yeah, it's done. Completely. Excuse me. Excuse me. The timekeeper doesn't have time for this. Oh, I'm very sorry. Would you like to talk to him again? Uh, yeah, I guess in like nine minutes. Okay. Uh, <laughs> very, You're very well. Very agreeable. <laughs> I'll sit and perform one of my favorite activities for nine minutes, staring. Wait a minute. So this is the only client at the Broken Watch Factory? No, no, no. I would think you'd be doing this every single minute this or so. This was a called. role play of, of yeah, the he, first customer he of the day. Probably says that to like, make the customer feel like they're the only customer that, that oh, yes, matters. Yes. You know. but, but in actuality, how many co- people are you calling? Oh, upwards of four a day. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> yes, and... Scott, yes. yes. I'm <laughs> getting emotional. Oh, stop crying! Please. No, okay. Tears, I'll wipe away or suck back in. <laughs> oh, God, how did you do that? Just practice. <laughs> really, you can practice to do that? With practice makes perfect. Oh, that's well. That's a great point. Cake should boss, say, you should make a cake, cake that can suck back its own tears. <laughs> but so first, I have to make a cake that cries. No, T I E R S. Oh, oh! <laughs> and that's been Riddle Me This. Riddler. Oh, this is a good song. Riddler. That was a good song. <laughs> that's a good song. <laughs> oh, another edition. Oh, my gosh. Now we have two that's a good songs. What? Oh. Yeah. Anyway, uh, what, what were you saying about Oh, I say like six years is one of my favorite amounts of time. <laughs> Really? Why oh, six yeah. years? Oh, just so much can happen in a six years. A, a child could age from zero to six. <laughs> That's true. A, a sports team could develop a dynasty. Oh, like, uh, I'm trying to think of one, like the Showtime Lakers? Or? Yes. Okay. Yes. So much can happen in six years. It, 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 it simply is one of the greatest amounts of time there is. Well, how, how did you arrive at uh, six years being one of the greatest units of time? Uh, it's just how you have a favorite color, a favorite direction for the wind to blow. It's just one of those things everyone has. Well, mine, mine's east. Yes, yeah, so I'm southeasterly myself. <laughs> mine's up. Oh, Makes what's up? What's going on? Scott Axelman, you don't have a favorite direction your, the wind blows? Or uh, a favorite amount of time. Okay, I well, let me think. Uh, remember uh, in the seven-year itch when Marilyn Monroe's dress <laughs> went up? Yeah, oh, oh, seven years, up. another great amount of time. Yeah, sorry, <laughs> that's been taken. I said my favorite direction was up. Yeah, so oh, okay. uh, you're copying Ho-Ho. No, oh. you were, or you were just talk- I thought you were talking about your favorite Pixar movie. Yeah, I like that too. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you probably like that first ten minutes, right? That's your yeah. favorite part. Oh, you I like the first part where the lady dies and everyone's sad. The part where everyone's happy, the dog talk sucks. <laughs> but it is your favorite movie. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Timekeeper. Yes. Uh, yeah. Uh, Cake boss. Mm. Um, do you have a least favorite unit of time? Oh, definitely. Mm. Twelve right, well. minutes. <laughs> what? 12 minutes? Yes, I've never been fond of 12 minutes. <laughs> a real NBA quarter, I call it. Yeah, so you're a basketball fan, I'm getting. Not likely. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, yes or no? No, uh, an NBA uh, okay. quarter, I hate. But you, you, this is the second basketball reference you've made. It seems like it's on tis your it? mind a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yes, tis. <laughs> I shan't remember that. Uh, where did you go to school? Are you, or did you like graduate from high school even? Or? Yes, Tallahassee High School. For did your t- classmates like you or were you annoying? They hated me. Mm. I was voted most likely to be the timekeeper. <laughs> is that because you went walked around saying you were going to Yes, be the it was a write-in category. And, and it got one? Yes. <laughs> yeah, and that was from you. Yes. Okay, yeah. I did you it. earn any other superlatives? Mm, least liked. 
<laughs> was that a writing writing category as well? Yes, what, would it be yes. Liked? And how many votes did that get? What my sister? From, oh, your sister? Yes. Oh, Eleanor. Oh, Eleanor. Oh, Eleanor. Keeper. Longo. Mm, Eleanor Keeper Longo. <laughs> Nay yes. Longo. Wait, no. Nay, Nay Keeper. Keeper. All right, don't attack the cake boss. <laughs> Nay so. Keeper. Horses are Nay Keepers. <laughs> yeah. And that has been riddle me this. Oh. <laughs> Riddler. <laughs> oh, this is a good song. Riddler. <laughs> that was a good song. <laughs> That's a good song. That's a really good song. Wow, a third one. I love it. Oh, amazing. We're just going to keep adding on to this. Well, my goodness, Timekeeper, was there anything else you wanted to say? I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. We have to take a break. We'll be right back. Hey, Comedy Bang Bang, welcome back. Uh, we're here with Cake Boss Cake and Boss. Ho-Ho the Naughty Elf and the Timekeeper. TikTok! <laughs> yes, of course. And um, speaking of time, it's... Uh, okay, oh, don't, real interested. don't get too excited. He's this, real interested. Ooh, it's been about... It's, it's been... Wow, well, enough, enough. <laughs> It's been about five months since we said hello to this gentleman. A wonderful amount of time. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> How many NBA quarters would that be, I wonder? May I have one of your calculators? Mm-hmm. Let, me <laughs> guess. Let me guess. It's about 122 NBA quarters in a day. So five Carry the one, months. do the two over the three. Mm-hmm. Goodbye, listeners. <laughs> <laughs> isn't that uh, that's an Elton John song, isn't it? Yeah. Goodbye, listeners. <laughs> Goodbye, yeah. listeners yeah. of this podcast. about 3,980 NBA quarters since we've seen Mm. this gentleman worth the wait (laughs) and uh, he was uh, we'll describe your sort of bio biography well I you know I could describe it uh, or I could just say my name but I'd rather just describe it for you you know I played in a rock band these will be the clues I'll give the (laughs) listeners I played in a European rock band with two guitarists one bassist and a drummer, and that drummer's name was my very best friend, Ringo. Okay, I'm guessing you're John Lennon. Well, I know that, because you you're can, sitting... Because you can see me, yeah, sure. Yes, I'm John Lennon, that's right. Has it been that long since I've been on, Scott? Uh, yeah, I mean, you were on in uh, January, as I recall, and uh, this my is God. this is May, or Ma. Certainly is. Yeah, what, what have you been up to? Now, we all remember your last appearance. You were talking about how you have you never died. I, well, I, no, no, you died for five years. For four years, four I died. Years. You know, I got mm. shot through the heart outside my house, you know. Four years. <laughs> Fell dead right away, buried, and then decided, I've got to be alive again. I like it so much. Yeah. Okay, four that answers years, all my questions. <laughs> yep. So uh, Four years, a wonderful amount of time. <laughs> oh, yeah. One could almost complete college in that time. <laughs> mm-hmm. One could uh, complete the presidency of the United States. Or the presidential fitness test. (laughs) (laughs) It took you that long to complete the presidential fitness test? The visa didn't reach was hard. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Um, I don't mean to distract. (laughs) (laughs) You don't. (laughs) No, but I do frequently. (laughs) Well, John, what have you been up to? Well, you know, I'm I'm just sort of preparing right now to record an album again. What? Oh, wow. A solo record? Well, Well, you know, let me explain it of course i'm going to take a cd that i own and record it onto a tape so i can play it in my v my rv you know <laughs> your v <laughs> rv no you know i misspoke you know <laughs> oh okay i don't mean to hold your feet to the fire sure. that's so, not allowed I've got so you gotta you gotta convert it you have a tape deck in the rv yes yeah, it's a very old rv oh. so what uh, i I guess I'm not aware of, uh, I never came across this in the, the Shop Rimage catalog, the CD to cassette uh, player. That's a pretty standard boombox that I've purchased. <laughs> yeah, why? Oh, so it's not even built into the RV. It's just a boombox that's in the RV. So I'm going to do the whole thing in my home, you know. <laughs> And then bring it out to the RV, the tape, of course. Aren't you a multi millionaire? Why are you buying such an old RV? Oh, I certainly like the vintage charm of it all, you know. That's well, wait, what the V stood for. Ah. A vintage RV. <laughs> but oh, yeah, so that's right. I didn't want to explain it. I didn't think we had time for that. Uh, well, <laughs> we certainly we did. We have all the time in the world. <laughs> all right, Timekeeper. All right. We don't really. Oh, I'll get off the table. <laughs> <laughs> um, what? Uh, uh, did you lose all of your money when you died? Did, uh, I, well, I misplaced much of it, you know, because right before I died, I had... 
I was taking it out of the <laughs> wait. A lot of people don't know this. Oh yeah, you had right. bags of money when you were shot. <laughs> yeah, by, I was. Yes, I was Chapman? taking it from my mattress to a bank. Yoko finally said, "You've got to put this away. We can't get any sleep we, on this mattress. We've been doing too many photo shoots on this naked on this mattress. <laughs> <That> <laughs> is, well, it worked for a while because we were there so much. We were not leaving the bed. Yeah, hubba hubba. <laughs> You like that, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever had, have you had sex? Ho-ho? Yeah, I've been to orgies and stuff. Remember? <laughs> oh right, that's right. Well, I mean, one can be at an orgy and not actually partake. Well, that's true. Mm-hmm. That's a you loser. Could, you could eyes wide shut it and just be a creep uh, wearing <laughs> yeah. a bird mask, what's, watching everything. What's creepier, being in the orgy or just watching it? I'll let you know when I find out. <laughs> I think okay. it depends where you're watching it from. Oh, okay. If you're inside, you're not a creep. <laughs> what if you What if you're behind a painting with eye holes cut out? You know, that's that's two on the creepy rating, I would say. Have you that's had an two? orgy? Out of two? Yes. Have you had an orgy it's, with any it's famous out of people? Three. Me? That's a good question. Timekeeper has a question not related to time. Mm, mm. <laughs> well, one time, me and Ringo, you know, we had sex with one Paul. One time. Mm, I knew it was coming. <laughs> Wait, one time you and you Ringo had sex, had sex with Paul McCartney? With, yeah, with Paul McCartney. You know, we were deciding who should. Um, so wait, 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 hold on a second. It wasn't, wait, it wasn't, who was left out? Was it you and Ringo and Paul all had sex together, or you and Ringo had sex with Paul? Yes, that one, the second one. <laughs> Ringo and I, oh, here's what we did. <laughs> we stacked our dicks up on top of each other and slipped them in the bowls. Oh, sure, yeah, sure. Well, come on now. <laughs> It's not that kind of a show. <laughs> Where was George? Sure? A show where you don't answer tr- questions truthfully. Where is George? <laughs> Filming it? Oh, good question. You no, know, George was pulling a two on the creepy scale. <laughs> he was behind a painting. <laughs> is that where you came up with the scale? That, yeah, we looked right at it. Well, he couldn't see a thing. You know, a vase was right in front of the picture. That <laughs> oh, was, no. That is uh, poor planning. Well, yeah, he said, you've got to move. Move the vase. <laughs> Wait, was he was it? calling out from behind the painting? Yes. That kind of blows the uh, the yeah, hiding the place. Like, yeah. Yeah, well, he's not the smartest, you know, creeper. <laughs> really, George is not smart at creeping. No, Speaking he's of- very smart at playing guitar. Was the painting Whistler's me. mother? <laughs> yes, and the eye holes were right at the edge of her uh, rocking chair. <laughs> Wait, why? <laughs> so not with, not, not with- in the face. No, that's well, the it strange was hung thing up about really it. Really high, I guess. Mm-hmm. <laughs> is that why it's only a two on the creeper scale? <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> so, uh, uh, John, what is this? What is this CD you have? What mm. are you recording? D- uh, uh, Pearl Jam's second latest album. <laughs> second latest. Second latest. Yep. Wait. So the titular Pearl Jam? No, titular no. till no, I die. <laughs> I think isn't second it? No, is it? Second late. Would it be by Noral? No, no. No, I think it's it? Pearl Jam. The second to last one. Yeah, yeah the second to last. I think one. it's called oh, yes. Pearl Jam. You motherfuckers! Wait, why lightning they, bolt oh, is most <laughs> recent. <laughs> but why would they wait to call it Pearl Jam? Wouldn't the one that first came out just recently. Bands do that because they want to say, "Hey, we're rebranding and getting back to basics." Stop no, hitting no, me! No. It hurts. Stop hitting! Oh, oh. It's, it's why backspacing. Is it re- I'm recording backspacing. Oh, oh hold on. So they know. waited that long in their careers to have an eponymous album. Yeah, they did. Well, they did. That maybe that's the third most recent. Let's sing "Daughter." Sure. Yes. Don't, don't call, call me daughter. daughter. Hold on, hold on. I I guess guess I you're not, not my daddy. daughter, so <laughs> knock it off. Right? Well, sort of. All right, so here we go. <laughs> Lightning Bolt was uh, the most recent. Backspacer is the one you're talking Backspacer. about. Backspacer. Pearl Jam, the titular Pearl Jam is the one right before that. Oh, mm. okay. No, that one I don't own. You don't own that? No. That's not a bad it's one. It's unfortunate. I, I suppose I could go. <laughs> Go over to Best Buy and pick it up, but I won't. <laughs> Why not? Are you out of money? Because <laughs> I haven't gotten through Backspacer yet. Oh, wait, you haven't listened to it? No. How gotten far have you gotten? Through. <laughs> I've opened it. <laughs> May I ask a question about one of your songs? Yes. <laughs> Eight days a week. Typo, slip of the tongue. What was going uh, uh, on there? Is that just oh, driving time crazy? Question. We yes. were being very funny. You know, yes. Ringo, <laughs> Ringo suggested it, and I said, well, I... I Brought him aside and I said, are you joking around? <laughs> Do you know that it's not eight days? It doesn't exist eight days a week. He said, no, John, it's a joke. What about, said, what, about that song, <laughs> what about that song, Simply Having a Wonderful Christmas Time? That one pisses me off. Well, that's a Paul song. I'll, I'll leave that to Paul when he's in. You can talk you to him about it. You weren't on that track? You know, I'm fuzzy on what songs I Wait, wrote. were too. you on every <laughs> single Paul McCartney solo record? I was I was at least in the room to watch him record. <laughs> like a two on the creepy painting? scale. <laughs> Who was better at keeping time, Ringo or me, the timekeeper? <laughs> or Pete Best. 
Or Pete Best. Oh, that poor Pete Best. <laughs> or Jason uh, Tell Bobby. us about him. We lost him early, didn't we? He didn't he die. Just, he just quit. You might be thinking of Stuart Sutcliffe. Yeah, yeah the basis. Yeah, I think I had this problem last time <laughs> I was did. in here. You did. I can't remember those bloody well, drummers that we Well, a long time ago. It was back Stuart in the 50s. <laughs> the what? Beatles have different drummers? You know what? Oh, ho, ho. Oh, ho. <laughs> you must be... I never paid attention. I would think you're young, not <laughs> old. <laughs> I'm a million. <laughs> Oh, then you certainly have heard of the Beatles, then. Too much time I've been on this earth. I can't listen to every song and notice who every drummer is. Hey, that's how I feel about Pearl Jam. <laughs> it seems like you would have more time to do that. Timekeeper could explain it. Mm. What's your favorite song? Time is bad. <laughs> <laughs> My Ooh, favorite good song is Elton John and uh, seeing that Captain and Neil song. <laughs> Love well, will keep John, us together. <laughs> what? If it's on, if it's on backspace, it must help. Don't go my heart. I would John and RuPaul. <laughs> oh, John and RuPaul. Did that happen? Yeah. <laughs> Why is that your favorite song? I love it. Of, of all time. It's really fucking oh. good. <laughs> all right. Did, did you just come? <laughs> Not quite. Uh. Oh, time, 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 time. <laughs> time out. Keep it inside. Oh. Wait a minute. I thought I'll this was that type inside. of show. <laughs> oh, no, 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 you can't tell me one thing and then talk about come two minutes later. <laughs> no, you're just merely asking a question of one of the guests. Did you just come? <laughs> His All penis right. was out of his shorts. <laughs> <laughs> you okay, are wearing I, yeah, shorts. Yes. Yes. He's wearing shorts under his cloak. <laughs> <laughs> Board shorts. <laughs> are they from Old Navy? Yes. <laughs> Six nine nine. Oh yes. Oh my goodness. <laughs> well, uh, we have to get to our next guest, and uh, sure. he's a returning guest. He's been on the show once before, and uh, please welcome back uh, Brad Hammerstone. Oh, thanks for having me back, Scott. I had to get back on the show. Yeah, you uh, had to. Be, uh, people loved your last appearance. Oh, that's not the reason why I'm here, but. Uh, oh, okay. What's the reason? You wait. So I, I don't know. Who you don't this care? show is for, or okay. who's listening to it, or what's happening with that. <laughs> right. But, uh, you know, Mike. Well, my kids found out that I did the show, and, you know, it was before they were my kids, so Wait. they loved the show. They were like, you got to get back on the show. Wait, you so did the show before you had kids? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Well, well, he said before they were his kids. Oh, okay. They were someone else's kids? All right, well, this is a long story, but... Uh, <laughs> okay, well, we got nothing but... <laughs> Did that put you over the edge? Oh no, no! I'm. <laughs> Did you enjoy oh, that? that? I'm now built re-energized. Wow! That was do you like? Do you like it better over, when you say it or when other people say it? Yeah. Uh, please, anyone answer this question. <laughs> I like just hearing it. Uh, yes, others more. I prefer it when another person says it. And I already know I love time, but to hear others acknowledge it, it's mm. it's reaffirming. All right. Well, tell us this story about the uh, about your kids. What what happened here? All right. Well, here's the thing. My uh, my cousin uh, he got called into the navy. So uh, certainly. He, and he has a couple. And in fact, he's got kids, but they're not actually his kids. I mean, as far as I know, he's just their legal guardian. But he takes care of three, you know, kind of small anthropomorphic ducks, and now I got to take care of them. And right, you now know. your brother. You said your brother was called into the navy. My cousin. He, your cousin. He okay. was called into the navy, or he right. joined up. I didn't get the full story. Who's your but. cousin again? I remember seeing something like this. He's wearing a navy outfit. And- yeah, my cousin's name is Don. <laughs> Don. Donald. Right, right. Yeah, right. Donald. His yeah. full name is Donald. People who may not remember you from your last appearance, you're a man's man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right. A real bro. Yeah, I'm here. Well, uh, I, I, I'm I, a classic. I'm I'm an old, I'm like a Don Draper, like what men used to be. Yeah. You yeah. like tools and stuff. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you know I do. What's you about know sports cars? I don't, I don't understand them, but I'll try and use them. Mm-hmm. How about a football phone? Football phone? <laughs> Did yeah, you get absolutely. one free ever? Cool. Answer the phone like a football. I, <laughs> Wait, how would you answer the phone like a football? You know how like when football players get the ball in the game and they have to say, hello, who is it? <laughs> I don't remember this. Oh, free. I thought it was like you would answer the phone and say, football speaking. <laughs> Foot speaking. Foot phone. What I love about the football phone is you can yeah, not. That's what, you, your foot is shaped like a football. So. That's true. Well, no, a football is shaped like a foot. We've established that. Okay, right. Your foot shaped weird and nasty. Well, you're very cruel, ho ho. Uh-huh. Cake boss. You're not the boss of me. Cake boss. <laughs> TikTok. <laughs> it's been a while. 
John. Drums. <laughs> drums. Yes, John, you didn't drums. play the drums. I uh, know I didn't play the drums. But my favorite be Beatles. That can't be your the, catchphrase. The catchphrase is drums. It simply must be. <laughs> your favorite Beatle was Ringo? It always has been and it always will be. <laughs> what about yourself? No, I put Ringo way before me. <laughs> all right. He all kept right. the time. All right. Well, Brad. I don't know what my catchphrase is. It's probably, come on, fellas, or <laughs> like a. Quack, quack. <laughs> yeah, I think it's more of that. Know, yeah. Wait a minute. Like, like I love Tim Allen, how he makes those animal sounds when he's excited about oh, tools. Hilarious. And that's what I do. R- well, you make animal sounds when you're excited. No, I, and- make a, I make an animal sound when I'm excited. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm making the same sound that Tim yeah. Allen is making. Yeah. No, you're well, you're making animal sounds when you forget to make English sounds. Okay. Human sounds. All right, I'll take your word (laughs) for it. All right, because I don't know if people remember your last appearance, but is there? uh, We found out something about you. Oh yeah. Well, the last time I was on here, you're giving me a hard time about how I'm a duck and I'm actually a duck who thinks he's a man or a man with a duck's brain. I don't know what it is. I'm here trying to help you out, and that's what I get. And you know. Yeah, I guess nobody paid attention to that part of the podcast because things have continued to go down the toilet for guys since I've been here. Uh, for guys, <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> for guys. Okay, well, how are... you got you know yoga pants. Wait, and, wait, let's go. Lena that's... Dunham. And, things are looking up for guys when women are wearing yoga pants. Okay, I, I they seem uh, too flimsy for me. Because they can't keep their butts in? <laughs> yeah. You, I like, you know, I, I think either have your butt out or have your butt in. So, okay. So <laughs> you're what, very black and white about this. Your cousin oh, Donald, yeah. do, does his Navy uniform have his butt out or... Oh, he's got it. Yeah, he doesn't want like to wear pants. He's a he's a guy. <laughs> okay, okay, he's a butt out kind of guy. He's yeah. a so guy. in the navy, they're kind of relaxed about uniforms. Like you don't have to wear pants. Waist down is fine. Dude. <laughs> as far as all they ask is you wear the top. Yeah, yeah, the top <laughs> part you got to have it. But I think you're going to be a lot faster and also more alarming to your enemy if you don't have, have your bottom half covered. <laughs> yeah. Well, if you're on a boat, your enemies can only see your top half. They don't know that you're pantsless. Oh, unless oh. you're doing a handstand. <laughs> oh, hey, John. That's, that's a good a, point. That's really a very good, good point. point. Solid point from John Lennon. <laughs> well, my goodness. So what are you up to now, Brad? You uh Well, I'm on you know, I'm going around, I'm on the circuit, I'm giving seminars, just mm. trying to help. You know. What circuit? When you when you say the circuit, what are you talking about? Are you talking about different ponds? <laughs> well, it's yeah, you know, I I will go to the pond that I'm most familiar with and comfortable in, right? And I'm there for I'd say six months out of the year, right? Like a real man, like a real man, and then <laughs> yeah. it starts getting cold and it gets cold around my pond. I'm like, you know what? I got to go help real men someplace yeah. at a place where it's warmer. I got to <laughs> yeah, go certainly. south. Hey, why don't all the Birds that also do what you do. Uh, why don't they just stay in the hot place? <laughs> why don't we just stay in the hot place <laughs> yeah, all the time? Yeah, it's like why, why the back and forth? You know what? I don't have an answer for that. <laughs> Scott, if you went on vacation to Hawaii, wouldn't you miss your home eventually? <laughs> well, I mean, you know, I, not if you moved to Hawaii. Oh, well, that's a very good point. Now I feel like a fucking idiot. <laughs> well, sorry. maybe maybe it that's gets right. too hot. Maybe it gets too hot. Too like, hot? I'll tell you what it is a lot of times. It's just like a, a bro code sort of thing, you oh, know? Because okay. yes. I see a couple of my buddies, and they're starting to leave, and I'm like, I guess it's time to go, and I guess we're all going to leave and fly mm, in a V formation. Yeah. <laughs> Have you had any misadventures with your three nephews? What? All the time, man. It's <laughs> tough. But yeah. it's kind of... I like it because it's helped me find new dimensions of being a man that I had no idea yeah. about. Is stuff like hanging out at water towers and it's like mostly going on adventures. Yeah. You sound more. You imagine something as manly as that. I get, well, I'm sorry. gotten okay. to trouble with a snow beast recently. So okay, mm, right. what happened? <laughs> well, I'm a little hazy on the details. <laughs> I believe we're looking for a crown or okay. some sort of treasure. Right, yeah. Or it might have been one of my treasure maps got stolen. But uh, <laughs> Wait, you have a lot of treasure, treasure maps? treasure maps do you have? Oh, I got tons of treasure maps, valuables. I have the first dime. The first dime? <laughs> the first dime ever ever uh, minted. How much is that worth? Oh, uh, tons, man. Probably like over 400 bucks. <laughs> okay. I remember when they made that. 
You, you were there? Yeah. Well, she's a million. She's so. a, a whole a million years old. Uh-huh. Okay. And you're an elf? <laughs> you betcha. Okay. I'm a naughty elf. Bleh. All right. Look Let at me my ask- butt. Okay, all right. Keep- See, I like this guy because this guy kind of does whatever he wants. Yeah, yeah. I continue with your line of questioning, Tohoho. Now, like uh, <laughs> Santa Claus. Yeah, what about him? Why doesn't he ever bring me what I want for Christmas to oh, my house? well, I think I might be able to answer that. Does he not like bad boys or what's the I problem? like mm. the bad boys. You're a naughty little boy and I give you presents. You ever notice what you get under the tree from me? Knives and guns and cocaine and drugs. <laughs> Yeah, that's not what I want. Well, that's what you're going to get, bad boy. Oh, I'm hoping for worms or (laughs) bread, sweet bread. It's not the old days. We don't give it oranges and shit. Okay. (laughs) Have you ever spent Christmas? And Ho Ho, perhaps you can verify this. Have you ever spent Christmas on Bear Mountain? <laughs> yeah, of course I have. Okay. <laughs> okay, yeah, I was wondering that too. Hey, so these, these three ducks, they're your nephews? What? Uh, these three guys, that are your nephews. Well, listen, they're my cousin. I don't know how my cousin's related to him. I think they're his nephews. They're his so they're nephews. They're probably my grandnephews. Okay, so... Uh, I'm you... significantly older than my cousin. Right. Grand are you got... boys? Are, you a... are they grand boys? <laughs> yeah. What'd you say? Would no. you say they're grand boys? <laughs> they're not my grand boys. They're my, they're my grand nephews. A term introduced earlier in this program? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, grand boys is another word for grandson. Nope. I don't know. We've nope. all instantly <laughs> accepted it into clear. our personal lexicons. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well... I guess so, we're more asking you to yeah. shed some light we, on we, yeah, what a grand boy is. Are they grand boys or not? Hey, if I come flying in and this is the first time I'm meeting you and you say the word grand boys, I'm going to assume it means grandson. <laughs> it's like bro code. It's, yeah, exactly. Bro, bro. Uh, so you you say you have uh, you, you've accumulated some wealth. Uh huh. Do you kind of hoard your wealth? Are you kind of stingy with it? Hey, look, that's the number one rule to stay in rich. Not spending your money everywhere. Yeah, can, exactly. I, can I ask you this question? I, uh, I tried to get. Are you going to try and teach me a lesson? Because no, this has no. happened to me once before around <laughs> no, the holidays. No, no, no. A couple of ghosts tried to tell me to be less stingy with my no, money, no. treat my employees better, and I just didn't take. That was you? I thought that was Evan. Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> what? Okay, There's never mind. I'm just, I'm just getting story. something. The, the first, I, I, it's I, like the first penny <laughs> dropped. I, I'm a small business owner. I have a mouse that works for me. He has a <laughs> he has a crippled mouse son, and okay. that's all. I your, your name, Brad, threw me off. That. Yeah, sure. <laughs> but let me, let me ask you, because uh, maybe he has a nickname that, uh, that other yeah. people he oh, earned yeah. from no, his I, habits. I'm totally yeah. on board now. I get everything. Do you ever, do you ever like, put your money, like, in a pile? I got then... so much of it, man, it can't fit in a pile. <laughs> <laughs> you ever put it in a room and jump into it? Yeah. That's, that's, not a, that's where I was going. Are you Scottish? <laughs> yeah. It, mm. You couldn't tell by my slight Scottish burr. <laughs> I like your little round glasses hey. on the tip of your nose, Beak. Thank I, you. I like your top hat. Well, all right. He's wearing it like a all ri- seeing me for what I am, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Finally, we can see your attributes. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, we have to take a break. When we come back, we'll have more Comedy Bang Bang after this. <laughs> Comedy Bang Bang, we're back here, and uh, Cake Boss and Ho Ho went to the uh, little boys' room together. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, of course, we have Brad over here and All the right. timekeeper. Tick tock. What time is it now? Why, it is now a quarter past. Mm, very good. A monkey's ass? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, John Lennon over here. Drums. Uh, <laughs> that's your catchphrase. All right. I don't mind that it is. I like it. Yeah. Oh, are you ever going to make more music? Well, other than the re- CDs I'm recording myself on the tape, probably not. You know, I lost one of my best guitars. <laughs> really? As I put it to sleep. What, is that, what does that mean? That was an old Beatles joke. Uh, you know, now I'm just remembering that George wrote that song. Uh, wait, George wrote which song? Uh, never mind. I'm fucking in this <laughs> up big time. <laughs> tell us, tell us. <laughs> tell us a whole thought process. <laughs> yeah, I'd love to hear. Here's what stuff. I was thinking. The song While My Guitar Gently Weeps was Sleeps. <laughs> oh, boy. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I wondered if it was something I just didn't get. Nope. Stupidity. <laughs> <laughs> All right, John. Well, you were the stupid beetle. Hey, that's not fair. <laughs> well, you know, Paul was the cute it's one. All, it's, it's fine if me or Ringo says it. <laughs> Ringo is... He's hands-off material, yeah. you know what I mean? All right, very good. Ho-Ho's back. How was the little boy's room? Uh, full of shit. <laughs> After you got through with it? Yeah. 
All right, great. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, it's our sixth anniversary. We're having a great time here. And, uh, you know, six years. Boy, I just want to reflect on it for a moment. I mean, can we have a moment of silence for six years? I mean, boy, mm. that's uh, complete silence if we could. Uh, uh, John? Sorry. John? I was sniffing and coughing. <laughs> well, you know what? Could you try to do that off mic? I'm trying to have a moment of silence here. Six thing. years. <laughs> <laughs> ho ho, don't puke well. Sorry. Oh, gosh. Why would be sleeps? It, yes, weeps. <laughs> Sorry, that, I thought I was keeping that in my own head. No, nope, you were saying it out loud, certainly. Screw me. Oh, Russell, Russell, Russell. <laughs> Wait, now you're just saying the word, Russell. Oh, God. I was hoping that I wouldn't walk through some tall grass and have it make a rustling oh, sound. No. And okay, yeah. Definitely. I guess I said what I was hoping wouldn't happen. <clears throat> oh, my gosh. And now Cake Boss is back from the little boy's room. And, yeah, uh, how long did you broadcast it to the world? You're crazy. Creep. What, what's wrong with this thing? You're a level two. You're a human being. Yeah, I don't like. Uh, people see me as more than that because I'm a boss of cakes. Ah, oh, that's true. And uh, I do want to say six years. It's an amazing amount of time. Mm-hmm. And thank you so much, for everyone, for listening. And uh, yeah, you got it, bro. <laughs> what's that? You got it, bro. For six years, I've never been able to be on the show, but I'm so psyched to be here, man. Did, I'm sorry, did someone come what? in with you, Cake Boss? Is this a friend of yours? No, man, no, I'm, I don't know this guy. I'm the Rickster, bro. Rickster? Yeah, bro. Who? Rick- just, I'm going to, I just, I feel like uh, I love the show, never been on it, really excited to be on it. Oh, so you're a fan of the show? Yeah. A fanatic? But I could probably be a new regular character, man. Wait, are you, are you what do you mean by character, and <laughs> like, are you are you playing a character right I now? I could know. I could just be one of your crazy loonies that get on the show all from time to time. All from time to time? Yeah, you know, just pop in and pop out. Okay, would you pop out, please? No, man. <laughs> you pop out, but pop in, right? Okay. Yeah. Uh, Rickster, what's your story? What what's you my here? story? I got catchphrases. Okay. I'm on the social me. All the tea. All right. Oh I have a lot of opinions about popular culture, and uh, I'm ready to go. Okay. What do we want to hear about first? Opinions uh, about po- – yes. I want to hear about how you abbreviated time to tea. <laughs> <laughs> I know. You took a little offense yeah, at that. That would save you a lot of tea, I'm sure. Mm. You got to not say it, though, when you're at, like, high-class, like, uh, restaurants and stuff, because then they bring you hot beverages. <laughs> yeah. Mm. <laughs> Yeah, you know, and I'm always like, I didn't want that. Uh-huh. You yeah. know, and that's just one of the kind of crazier anecdotes I would bring. <laughs> that's one of the crazier ones? Yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. I hate to hear the tame ones. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I bet you would. <laughs> what are some of all your... All right, all right. Is that one of your catchphrases? Yeah, it is that's indeed. Matthew McConaughey's. What? <laughs> no, he does three. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, so you yeah. just do the two? No, the yeah. Rick's just in the clear on this one. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes I go, all right, all right, all right, all right. Uh, the yeah, four no, is yeah. safe, too. As long as you get out of the zone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Even numbers are okay. <laughs> that doesn't have anything to do with time. I'm also an observer. <laughs> <laughs> A watcher? Yeah, yes. I haven't really latched on to the observing part of his personality. <laughs> yeah. There's so much to explore on many future episodes. <laughs> Okay, I don't know. I don't know. I am not sure about that. Uh, Rickster. Yeah. So you know about pop culture? Oh, I love it. Okay. Is there something you want to say about it? Yeah, totally. Avengers is going to be great. Okay, that came it's out. It's going to be like Fast and Furious, but with superheroes, right? It's been out for three days. You haven't seen it yet? Oh, no. <laughs> so, you got to wait till it comes on the TV. <laughs> TV? Oh, not, yeah. even, <laughs> not even DVD? Not even DVD? Yeah, no. <laughs> like network? Yeah, premiere? network. <laughs> <I'll>, <laughs> not like even an Angels? FX cable yeah, premiere? It, uh, from what I'm talking to some <laughs> very high up people at the ABC <laughs> Corporation, and that's going to hit on the TV uh, Christmas time. <laughs> of this year? <laughs> yeah. Wait, talk into the microphone, ho ho. I is... want to. <laughs> you want to? Yeah. Well, then do it. I'm trying. Well, he's so small. Yeah. Sometimes it's difficult to get up there. The microphone well... swung out of my way. <laughs> yeah. I love Christmas. You do? That's all I wanted to say. <laughs> you love Christmas? Yeah. That's I would when think... I do the most work. You like opposite things. I would think you would hate Christmas. I love Christmas. Aww. <laughs> that, means, that means he hates it. Oh, that's You're right. right. <laughs> we talked about You're that. You're wrong. Wait what? a minute. I don't know what to believe. Me either. But Ooh. believe in Santa. Ooh. I do. <laughs> I figured out why I don't like you. I hate Christmas. 
You, I hate it all oh, year long. Oh boy! Until the very end, late at night on Christmas Eve, <laughs> then I come around and then I love it for Christmas. And then the twenty sixth, a flip switches, man, and I hate it again. <laughs> really? Every year this happened. Every you were, year. This whole time you were trying to figure out why you didn't like me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Fuck you! I was like flip something about switches. Something about is it that this character is so diminutive it's not just that he's a completely hateful in every way nope so you switch your flip on december 26th oh yeah i flip it you s your f you said you switch your flip you switch your flip (laughs) he s is his f right so So usually you do normal flips like back flips i switch it up you switch it up watch me do a back flip whoa Hey, here's this. A, here's an idea for Christmas. What if Santa was like only picked two or three houses a day, then made Christmas every day, but everybody had a different Christmas, but like it was a birthdays. Rotating. Yeah, that'd be interesting. Mm. That's interesting pop culture analysis. <laughs> yeah, you know, just because it seems like a real hard way to get a bunch of work done in one day. Would people get to pick their own day, or would Santa pick it for Santa them? Santa would pick it based on alphabet. <laughs> we, we, <laughs> And the last name, first name. Middle name. name. Middle name. This is way too confusing. Yeah. Rickster. I yeah. take this back to the lab. Well, just because there's a lot of Johns. <laughs> you know, so that would be almost like doing Christmas all over again. Yeah, you know? that's true. Yeah. But middle names are a little bit more uncommon. Well, I would say last names are the ones that are the least. <laughs> right. Oh, yeah. Well, that's why I'm not Santa. <laughs> well, there's a lot of reasons why you're not Santa. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You, you seem to like go with the first thought, best thought. Yeah, uh, but a lot of these concepts that you have, yeah, it seems like you you're caught. You're very surprised to find out that maybe there's a problem with the logic of them. You know, a lot of times I'm not hanging out with a bunch of people. I just write them down on a piece of paper, or a notebook, or like oh a my garbage God, you're bag. You're taking out a notebook right now. Girl. Yeah, I got let's a lot. Of let's hear things. all these ideas. All right. Well, this is great. <laughs> what if? Now, this is one I really, really love. What if bananas had advertising on it? Whoa! I so mean, when you they do the for ban- dull. But, yeah, but I mean for other things. You know, so you peel a banana That's and you would see, like, you know. Like Chiquita? Well, no, no, he said it's like, inside. Yeah. So when you, you peel, peel it, the skin, you'd see, like, buy Sudafed. Well, you know, that's a... <laughs> what an appealing idea. <laughs> Ooh, I like that. <laughs> Here's your demo. Yeah. I, You know, it's interesting that Dole only advertises <laughs> themselves and not other things. Like think Sudafed. They're... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, you already are in well the, banana the banana business. It's like, if I'd like getting a TV that says Samsung on it already. Yeah, I already it's bought like, it. I already bought one. Why are you advertising Why Samsung? Why am I advertising? It's yeah. like putting a billboard for Coke in my house. <laughs> <laughs> you know? And, uh, I like TVs. I like them real big, personally. <laughs> yeah, like a real man? Yeah, because I can see them through the window. <laughs> okay, yeah, because you don't have a house. Uh-uh, You're no in a way. pond outside. Yeah, okay. and I'm far away from most houses. Yeah, definitely. That's a so three the on the, the creepy scale. The more I can see it. Is that a three? A three is looking through the window. It seems less creepier than me than being on the other side of a painting. <laughs> well, because you're indoors with the painting. <laughs> hey, John Lennon, yes. uh, what do you say when people uh, call you the biggest creep in the world? <laughs> yeah, have I, you heard I, that before? You know, I shake them and say, are you sure you're talking to the right person? <laughs> <laughs> you shake them like the like that nanny shook uh, those kids that time. She's what my time? favorite lady. <laughs> what <laughs> time? <laughs> time. <laughs> Ew! Put your shorts on. <laughs> oh my god! They're on. They're just on the lower half of my legs. <laughs> well, that, that, oh, <laughs> technicality! <laughs> right, you got you us. Got you. you got us. As long as you're touching it with even a toe, <laughs> technically they're yes, on. Yes. <laughs> Well, Rickster, what else? Yeah. Uh, uh, I'd love to hear more of these ideas that's in your notebook. Oh, uh, check this out. Okay. Earplug <laughs> cell phone, right? Mm-hmm. You always have to hold your cell phone to your ear, but uh-huh. what if your cell phone was like an earplug and you just... That's called a Bluetooth. Mm-hmm. What? <laughs> that's a, that's a <laughs> the next thing you're going to tell me is someone came up with the pencil pen. <laughs> the pencil, the pencil pen. pen? It's a pencil that actually writes in pen. Why would you would just buy a pen? Why? But I, you want the classiness of having a pencil. <laughs> what? It's classier it's having super, a pen. No, a nice it's pen. super classy. You to look have like that a, one. you look like an elementary school kid if you have a pencil. That it's youth culture, man. <laughs> okay, you don't know. Yeah, about. I'm all about it. Yeah. O W F T Y F A G, right? What? 
Mm-hmm. Our future Wolfgang kill them all. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know how you know about our future. Yeah, Tyler the creator, man. Okay, He's yeah. the best. Earl Sweatshirt, he, yeah. 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 All I right. Wear, yeah. You Earl wear sweatshirts, sweatshirts, you were going to say? I do. Oh, tell us about that. Okay. Okay. Here's oh, he's opening up his notebook. <laughs> <laughs> sweatshirts that have removable sleeves. Okay. Well, that's not me. And back. Oh, no. Okay. You lost me. And front. <laughs> Wait. Oh, talk- so you mean taking about- it off? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're, you're saying you buy a sweatshirt, and when you don't want it on, you, you take, take it off. off. That's well, a good you idea. You take it off in pieces. I was you wondering why. You hood on? <laughs> it's not a hoodie. Duh. <laughs> oh, sorry, I guess well, like a stupid. warm-up jacket. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, not even a J. It's just a sweatshirt. Mm-hmm. It says a college name on it, and you can switch out the colleges based on where you're at. <laughs> like if you're near Harvard, you slap on the no, Harvard. No, no, no. People buy these because they want to advertise the college that they went to. Like they're Dole. Pr- they're pr- no. <laughs> like the bananas wearing their sweatshirts. Yeah. Right? Well, yeah. they're proud of it. And yeah. then you can wear a t-shirt underneath that says Sudafed on it. Yeah, I love yeah. that. Okay. Now we're talking about, I love this, combining ideas. Hey, wait yeah. a minute. Now, this is Cake Boss, obviously. Cake you, Boss. Yeah. you could advertise, you could rent out advertisements on your cakes, couldn't oh, you? Yeah. Buy Sudafed. I, I could get one of uh, uh, the icing bag and score it out why there. Why do you on... have to think about that for so long? Well, you because... think you deal with that every day? Because we have a nickname for it in the baking <laughs> oh, trade that you wouldn't that? know. What is it? Squirt pal. Squirt pal. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's unseemly to outsiders. From now on, just say squirt pal then. Yeah. I get the old squirt the pal right on a suit of fed. Uh-huh. Exclamation point. <laughs> you like Oklahoma? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> okay. Very good. Oh, my gosh. Well, let's hear the last 20 of your ideas. Okay. Real quick to go. <laughs> chair boats. Chair boats. Yeah. It's a chair, but it also has like a oars. <laughs> Okay. So you could be just like, hey, I got to get out of my desk and get into that water. Well, also, if there's a flood, like in New Orleans or something like that, oh, you're, no, you're too set. Soon. What? <laughs> what? Is too soon, you think? Uh, to talk about, yeah, well, I mean, look. It could have been avoided, is what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. It's never too soon to talk about prevention. Amen, brother. Okay. All right. Wait, so that's you're what you were saying? Agree. But wait, does the chair <laughs> yeah. have. Quickly agrees. Rather than chair legs, does it have some sort of uh, boat configuration? Uh. Well, no, your feet do a lot of it like Flintstone like style. Like treading water? Yeah. So you're just sort of shuffling yourself along with your feet on the chair. Okay. I not think if I you're these... doing it right. <laughs> you put oh, not the fl- if you're doing it yeah, right. Yeah, Brad would know about it. About yeah, it. But your but feet are like paddles already. Yeah, like my feet are paddles. huge, and they move a lot of the water underneath me. I don't understand but how there it works. are also like oars. a real man. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> Well, this chair also has oars, so why do you need to use the feet to paddle as well? Well, because you just you, you, you're well, just I mean, sitting in a chair with regular legs, and you use the oars. You just sort of tipping yeah. the chair over. I'll be honest oh, yes, and yes. say, like, I got really into the standing desk. Then I heard about the treadmill desk, and I was like, boat desk. Mm. And then I just went off and said, why even get a desk? Just get some oars and put on a chair. In yeah. practicality, I haven't tried it out, but that's an idea I wrote down. And I mean, I feel like that's an R and D. Oh, thing. look at this yeah. sketch! It's terrible. Yeah, well, that's a chair. And that's water. And that's just a, right. a drawing of your own penis. Right. <laughs> for uh, for you know well, that's also just to see I mean, size. It's like it's like you know like a si- like for a scale. Size. Size. Scale. Yeah. yeah. So that's to scale. We yeah, it's to scale. Congratulations, my friend. Well, thank you. <laughs> All right. God bless me with a couple of cool things. <laughs> Wait, what's the other? Uh, gigantic earlobes. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was a couple big things. Yeah. So, like, when you're building your your yeah. thing, like you say, it's four penises long. Yeah, I'll measure it by my penis, and obviously, you know, I'll I'll you know I have to then. It's uncomfortable when I'm talking to people because I have to then show them a picture of my penis <laughs> to just to get on the same. You page. could just show them your actual penis. Spend well. Spend what? I, well, I thought you said I could just show them a, like a ruler. I wasn't oh. gonna spend money on a ruler. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> no. Um, have you priced rulers lately? They have throw oh. the roof. That that's good for the sky. With do you pay per, per inch by the ruler? So if you want, yeah. yeah. If you only had like four dollars, you just buy a four, four inch, inch ruler. They break it off. <laughs> you never need a twelve inch ruler. No, but why? You never do. That's the dirty no. secret yeah. about rulers. I mean, that's the truth. Just a four-inch one three times. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Back when the Beatles were a hit, you know, we all had four-foot rulers. Really? We could afford it. Oh, I bet. Oh, my gosh. Okay, that's it. <laughs> well, <laughs> he just... <laughs> to, to chime in with that. Oh, my God. He just passed out. Oh, my... He's dead again. Oh, oh my sad. gosh. I'll never forget yep. where I was. <laughs> oh, now well, he's back. Yeah, back. Yeah, back. Yeah. Cool, you man. Just, were you just floating dead. above us playing a harp? <laughs> Yes. What were you playing on it? I was playing Why My While My Guitar Gently Sleeps. sleeps. Yeah. <laughs>
Man, I gotta tell you, I'm a big fan of the Sgt. Pepper's movie, man. The album was kind of crappy, but oh, the movie was great. I don't get that a lot. Thank you. It's nice yeah. to hear a new day. <laughs> Do you think you don't get it a lot because you weren't in it? <laughs> and the Bee Gees were? Whoops. <laughs> and Peter Frampton. Oh, well, that's true. And, and, Steve, and Steve Martin. Martin. Yeah, and his George funniest Burns. film performance. Oh, there's that engineer Cody Cody sound. There it is. He's making his Hitchcockian cameo on the episode. (laughs) My mic stand was loose. You know, that happened once when we were recording um, Yoko Ono's album, Plastic Ono Band. Mm. Sure. That what you consider yeah. that to be her album? Yeah, whoever's names on the, in the title is they own it. Yo, what did you think when Yoko just Yoko. said that Ringo is the most influential Beatle? I agreed with her hundred percent. I gave her the fucking idea, you know. Yoko, <laughs> was that you? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought maybe she'd like to have her name repeated. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Well, gosh, Rickshire. Yeah. <laughs> Hit us with these other ideas. Okay, you got it. Here we go. Never stop it. Always going forward. Uh-huh. Okay, it's an app for your phone. Okay. okay. I'm on board already. All right. That brings toilets to your house. Okay. So nearby toilets that are traveling. Yeah. Because you know how we all hate to flush. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> yeah. So it's for the environment. Yeah, of course. And yeah. so you just bring it up. Comes there, you get out they front. They take it away. Yeah, it's a great when you're at a, a friend's house and yeah. you want to take it to. Uh-huh. So you just hit the button on the you app. You don't want it to stink up the room. Exactly. Yeah. You so, got one over a girlfriend's house, hit the button, take it to. So like Uber, the people on the other end of this app are people delivering toilets to yeah. hardware stores or... Well, I mean, again, a lot of this stuff has to go through R&D. Sure. Uh, it's a truck that pulls up. RDJ. RDJ, man. Oh, I love that Speaking guy. of the Avengers. The best. Yeah. He's my favorite. The judge. Whoa. Yeah. Watch out. <laughs> Knockout performance. Who's a better judge, him or Judy? Well, I'm always a Mathis guy, but uh, technically he <laughs> wasn't a judge in that movie. Robert Duvall was. He was a lawyer. Mm. Uh, but I still like, consider him to be the judge, though. Oh, well, all right. Well, then I'm going to have to say Judy. <laughs> all right. Great. <laughs> I think it's on a technicality. <laughs> yep. All right. Fantastic. Dread for me. Hmm? Dread for me. Oh, Dread. Yeah, Judge Dread is pretty cool. Carl Urban. Yeah. <laughs> Although he wasn't Judge Dread in that film, was he? He was just Dread, wasn't he? I feel oh, like we're getting wildly was, off topic. Was here. it a prequel before he got honored as a judge? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think the end uh, ended with him getting an honorary doctorate from Dartmouth. <laughs> <laughs> just like William H. Cosby. Oh. What do you think about him? All right, let me tell you. <laughs> I love him. Yeah. Oh. I bet he's been on your naughty list for several years. Oh, yeah, baby. What have you been uh, delivering at Christmas to him? Condoms. <laughs> <laughs> That's who's going to never say tea around, because <laughs> he used to drape women with poisonous tea. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Poisonous. Anyway, <laughs> no, no, I, I I joke about Bill Cosby, but all good press is good. Oh, press. hell, it's a joke. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not to be taken seriously. <laughs> that was a real subtle one. It's a real way Homer. <laughs> mm. Yeah, it's a guy. More ideas in here. Got some more ideas. Good. Yeah, hit us. All right. What's the greatest problem that everyone has on a day to day basis? Go ahead. Just Dripping say. Over Not the enough rash. time. Exactly. Over your Not shoes. enough time to make cake. Rash. Tripping over your shoes. Exactly. <laughs> well, the things that are on your actual feet? Yeah. So tripping over the one on the other foot or tripping over the one that's on the foot that you're tripping from? Either way, man. It okay. could be a shoelace thing. It could be a Velcro thing. It could be a... Probably it, a shoelace thing. Right. I assumed you meant like when your shoes are on the floor, they're not on your feet anymore. Tripping over them like that. But you seem, Scott Oxman, to be yeah. saying that it's tripping over your shoes while they're on your feet. That's how I normally do it. I put my shoes away, Cake Boss. When they're not when they're not on my feet, I'm not a savage. You don't kick them off after a long hard day. No, sir. I gently take them off and place them upon a shelf. Whoa! It must Whoa. be nice to have all that time to carry on like a little old Fauntleroy. It is nice to have that time. Yes, yes, all the time in the world. <laughs> I like this guy. <laughs> yeah, I bet you do. <laughs> I like him better than you. Oh, better mm. than I like him. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. anyway. Anyway, I anyway, would say it too. It's shoe paint. 
Shoe paint, <laughs> you paint your feet like shoes, and then you never have to worry about putting on shoes because they're painted like shoes. Oh, okay. So wait, yeah. is, is it a spray that when you spray it's it? It's kind of like getting your nails done, but getting your whole foot done. Oh, like a mani- So it lasts like a mani-pedi. Okay. Is, what there, happens is if- there thicker paint for people who live in snowy climates? Oh, that's a good question. Again, I got to run that by RDJ. <laughs> what? <laughs> What if you are walking on a, a surface that's not hospitable to the human soul? Well, the human S O U L. No. Okay. <laughs> S- hey, you know what? Both. Okay. Well, first of all, Cleveland. Second of all, that would be right because it's a hard place for the human soul. Right. <laughs> Is that like what you consider to be humor? Yeah. <laughs> okay, great. Well, you're going to be a wonderful addition. To, yeah, man. I mean, have you got into my catchphrases? I mean, <laughs> yeah. anyway. we. Use... Oh, that's one of you. I would say that's your catchphrase. Anyway. anyway. Yeah. I yeah. sometimes say anyway. All right. Time. Uh, so <laughs> Drums. You would have to put on a, a, a layer of lacquer. It's been a while. Like a, a lacquer. Uh, like um. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I feel like I fit in perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, Rickster, you're yeah. you're wonderful. Thank you so, so much. So I get my own spin off. Yeah, wait, Do you I want a spin off podcast? Yeah, I would love my own spin off. Wait, like whop it up and all that? Yeah, man. All right. I feel yeah. like I feel like I've connected with the audience base right. in such a way. I do great segments on my show. Yeah, go ahead. All right, great. Yeah, yeah. When does it start? Uh, starts next month. Next month? Why yeah. do you need a month? Well, I need a month to get my guests. First guest oh. on the show is going to be the lovely, the talented daughter of Ron Howard, Blythe Dallas Howard. That's not her name. You're thinking of Blythe what? Danner. Oh, well, maybe I get them both on. Right. Hey, yeah. And we'll talk about our favorite kung fus, moves, and movies. Okay, and those are two separate categories. Yeah, because movies are one thing and movies are another. Yeah, what about Duh. Enter the Dragon? That's a movie. It's also a move, is it not? Oh, so part of it will be identifying <laughs> which are moves and which are movies? Yeah. It will kind of be like a little bit at midnight, but a little bit different, too. Okay, fantastic. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, so this starts next month. What's next it called? Next month. It's called Rockin' Out with Rickster. Okay, I thought so. Where we talk about everything but rock and roll. Okay, good. Fantastic. <laughs> rock is out. He's, that's the title. Rock yeah. is out with Rock Rickster. is out. Yeah. Yeah, okay, very good. We'll see that next month. All right, we have to take a break. We'll be right back with more Comedy Bang Bang. <laughs> Comedy Bang Bang, we're back here, of course. We have the Timekeeper, we have Brad Hammerstone, we have Ho Ho, uh, John Lennon, Rose. and of course the Cake Boss. Cake boss. And a, a sixth anniversary show. I'm, of course, Scott Aukerman, and thank you so much, everyone, for listening for these six years. And uh, we have uh, one last guest here on the program. And uh, <sighs> what is that? What are you doing? Man. All, all liquids, man. Okay, yeah. Th- uh, this is uh, uh, Chad Warren. What's up? Hey, welcome to the show, Chad. Hi. Hi. You're, uh, how old are you? Yeah, I'm 11. 11? From, yeah. And where are you from? I'm from North Carolina. My family's out here. We're They're on Hollywood Boulevard, but I think that bullshit, so I came here. Oh, wait, so you just wandered in here while your family is down the street at Hollywood Boulevard? Then drop me off to Denny's because I love Denny's. We don't got Denny's in North Carolina. We you got friendlies. <laughs> Friendly is, that, is that true? Does that check out? Why does it sound like there's so much echo right now? Is there a mic not being used? What is happening right now? I, I don't know. I think everyone's on one. We Why are you yelling know. at us? Stop. We're trying to discover no, the answer, know. but we simply we don't, don't know. know. We have no way of knowing. We don't know, Mr. Alderman. There's no earthly way of know. knowing. Uh. Where the microphone is going. <laughs> all right, forget we it. We shall I'm never go know. All right, all right. Well, uh, Chad. You just said wh- Rickster's catchphrase. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> you get two more. Anyway, oh, that's his other one. If you <laughs> anyway, anyway, um, Chad, welcome to the show. Thank you. Do you listen yeah. to the show? No, man, I don't listen to podcasts. Uh-uh. What podcasts are too old of an art form mm-hmm. for? A- podcasts are for lame, like junior college and up. No, <laughs> I don't listen to them. Oh, what do you listen to? YouTube or no. you listen to tapes? <laughs> that's what John Lennon listens to. You make a joke, but I do listen to tapes, man. I do too. Yeah, cool. My dad recorded a bunch of tapes and shit from the '90s, and that's what we watch. Oh, uh, do you know John Lennon? He had he was, he was in a band in the uh, '90s. What's wrong with your hair? '60s. <laughs> sorry, so turn that upside You're down. You're looking upside down. <laughs> oh, so I shouldn't be holding this. <laughs> I don't have dyslexia. I'm upside down to you. <laughs> 
<laughs> your hair, your hair's like a girl, like a girl. Like, do you have a pussy? No, no, okay. no, 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 uh, what do you think about uh, uh, Chad's age? Eleven. Mm. What you a wonderful about? amount of years. Yeah. So much can happen in eleven years, and yet so little. Well, what has happened, <laughs> Chad? Yeah. Do you mind taking us through these eleven years? Yeah, man. Like, I just like go to school and like squirming around in my seat, cause, like real hot and humid in my classroom, and I'm, like got my ash juices and my shorts, mm. and I like to whisper to girls, <laughs> go, shh, I got ash juices and my ash shorts. juices. Mm. I'm mm. like squirming around and, uh, uh, and I'm what? like, mm. I look at their earlobes in front of me when we're in language arts and I'm like, mm. but those two like girl earlobes, if you mash them together, that's like a tiny butt, like a girl butt. If you make it bigger, that's what a butt looks what like. What are you talking that's, about right now? That's what quite is a fetish. I don't understand. <laughs> that is a complex fetish. Yeah, they got butts already. <laughs> you seen a girl's butt? No, you haven't. That's I'm a married man. Of course I have. She nourishes Wait, your wife has showed you her butt? No, she. Ha- what, you were a liar. What? What are we? She presented. Hold on a second. It? I had- <laughs> <laughs> Did Ho give you a present Hello. of a butt under a tree? No, I'm a good boy. I get regular presents. Is that true? Yeah. Is that true, Ho Ho? He is yeah, a good boy. He's a good little boy. Even this, <laughs> even this year, when the prime minister uh, tricked yeah. him into that arrest, he tricked me. It was a trick. All I right. gave him a new kick pan this year. Wait, you gave him a present? <laughs> she felt bad for me. Yeah. Wait, why are you? I thought you only gave presents to naughty boys. You're right, but I was an exception. <laughs> oh. uh, don't forget, uh, Ho Ho's the opposite Hello? guy. Yeah, okay. and the truth is, I didn't give him shit. Well, what do you, th- uh, Ho Ho? What do you think Hello? of Ch- Chad here? He's a naughty little boy. Yeah, I thought so. Yeah, I don't even believe in you. Yeah, that's half the problem. <laughs> He's right here. I don't believe in. Okay, if I if, you do, if, you ever, if I wasn't real, could I do this? Wee! <laughs> I mean, like, I believe that you... Oh, you're, you're, that was the most you're... amazing thing I've ever <laughs> seen. I, I don't know if I'll ever forget seeing that. How did you leap even... up all the way to the ceiling fan like that? I made it. I leaped and my whole back was a rainbow. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. Yep. I thought you hated rainbows. Yep, I do. It was just a trick to che- prove that I'm real. Oh, okay. Mm. That was pretty cool. <laughs> That's pretty cool. But, like, you're just a little person. I don't believe you're an elf. Oh, my God. There's, I'm an elf. There's no Santa. There's no elves. If I'm not real, then does this hurt? <laughs> Ow! <laughs> oh, I bit my ear. Yeah. Oh. Now you can't put your earlobes together and make butts in the mirror like you always do. No, oh, that's a boy butt. I wouldn't put those together anyway. Whatever. Whatever you. <laughs> I want. If you do exist, I want a bigger dick for Christmas. You're not going to get that. You're going to get a fucking saw, bitch. A saw. <laughs> saw. Saw. Look, you'll get a bigger dick in a, a year or two. Yeah, mm. unless you make a wish on a yeah. fucking machine. Santa doesn't bring... <laughs> yeah, I, oh, I know. That Just happened to a friend of mine. give it some time. <laughs> okay, timekeeper. <laughs> hey, uh, hey, where's your baseball cap at? What are you talking about, man? Not all little kids wear baseball caps. Where's your brightly colored baseball cap? Yeah, with the little, like, bean Matching thing on t-shirt. top. <laughs> yeah, his, man, I'm not his... your nephew. Where are the other two at? God damn it, man. I'm not, I don't know you, man. You got just one of you? This isn't your nephew. This... <laughs> Wait. I know it's not my nephew, but where are the other two? Are now? you like concerned? I, may I ask, are you A concerned that Flint Heart Glomgold took the other two? <laughs> of course I am. <laughs> Wait, are you thinking that all little boys come in uh, sets of three? Yeah, as far as I know. <laughs> and wear the same thing, but <laughs> you can differentiate. Same the exact colors thing, different. different colors. Oh. I mean, we don't come in threes, man, but like, I would hatch out of an egg if I could. Why? Because that would be way better than coming out of old mom's pussy. I hate that. It is. Oh. Well, you don't have to do it anymore. You've it's done it once. once is <laughs> <crazy>. <laughs> That's once is no, enough. She makes me do it all the time. We what? No. Every birthday, we no. reenact my birth, and oh. I hate but it. Even I if you were born out of an egg, it would have come out of her pussy. She just would have been laid eggs out of her pussy. Yeah, but it's like a shell. It's like when you're in a plane, like you don't catch the sky. Yeah. Yeah. You don't necessarily have to be born. You can just suddenly exist in another character's <laughs> life. <laughs> <laughs> That's like what I'm doing with you guys right now. Yeah, you did sort of oh, suddenly. Is, yeah, yeah we never true. saw you enter that or anything. That is true. Good yeah. point. Yeah, you Spring crawled out from the mind of, of the creator. <laughs> that was weird. I was like eating my dunnies, and I got mm. like the hams over my hammy. The no. hams over your hammy? That's Ham. a, I don't a like, wonderful new menu addition. I don't like addition. eggs, though. I just get the hams over my hammy. You're like, hold the moons, hold the moon, put like on extra ham. ham. Yeah, no moons. That's mm. gross. But mm. I was eating it, and then I was just sitting here. Wow. So you teleported somehow? I don't know, man. I oh just... my God. Or do you just have a background that you are imagining? 
What, what's the background? That? <laughs> Never mind. What's that noise that you're making with your mouth? Yeah, what's going on with that? Got a lot of juices, man. What are you like spit? Spit. I got like spit and like loogies. I got loogies that like loogies and spit are the same thing. Loogies. Ah, that's not technically that's not true. true. Oh, really? Loogies that's are mixed right. with boogers and they want to come out of you. Loogies are thick. Out. Yeah, they're <laughs> thick and they want to like string out. And suck in. <laughs> I'm very close to throwing up. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> <laughs> this is a very visceral conversation. Well, you're always throwing up. <laughs> <It doesn't count. laughs> Do you ever it do anything count. besides throw up or fart? Yeah. What else? Piss. <laughs> <laughs> is that why you went to the little boys' room earlier? Yeah, betcha. Yeah. Did that come out of the candy cane? <laughs> yeah. Oh, and I was Guess- sucking on that thing. <laughs> Guess where I pee pee. <laughs> oh, wait, now it got Guess gross where- for you? Guess- <laughs> <laughs> that was like a candy cane before. You but- ate my gum. <laughs> before. Yeah, but that was snow. You'll take snow, great true. pleasure in that. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Plus, I, you know, the fact that you came made me feel good. <laughs> Guess where I, Guess where I pee peed in the bathroom? Where? Guess. Oh, uh, the sink. Yep. <laughs> Wait a minute. Classic ho I, I, I pushed my face down into the sink to clean it. Why? You probably had some of my piss I out filled it yet. with water at first. <laughs> <laughs> That's not your job. It's not my job to keep a clean face. <laughs> oh, okay. I thought you were cleaning the sink. No, no. Oh, it's everyone's okay. job to keep their bodies and their faces clean. <laughs> okay. I thought you were cleaning the sink and you were cleaning it with your face. No. But what you're saying makes way more sense. Oh, you thought he was like using his face as a sponge, yes. and he was just scraping it again. Yes, the that's sink that's how that sentence played out for me. Oh, sentences! They're the worst. Oh, boy, my goodness. Well, I have to say, Chad, uh, do, yeah. do you have any dreams? Do you have any aspirations? Yeah, I we, want. Yeah, I'm sorry. But you're the. Cake, what do you say, cake guy? Cake, you a cake guy. man? I was, I'm a cake man. Um, I was going to say, we know very little about Chad, <laughs> except he's from North Carolina. Yeah. He was at a Denny's. Yeah. He teleported here. <laughs> and in the end. Yeah. Well, he also <laughs> comes out of his mom's vagina on his birthday. That's and true, annually. That's probably yeah. the weirdest thing This is thing the we girls yeah. in front of him in class. <laughs> yeah, I like the girls a lot. And the juices. We know quite a bit about him. But you know what? I stand corrected. More of Chad than we know of ourselves. <laughs> no, I think we know. Of it. All right, timekeeper, dial it down. Put okay. your shirt back on. Do you want to hear what I really want? Yeah. 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 Well, I want my uh, when I get a big dick, I want it to grow teeth because I want to be able to eat out the bitches without touching them with my mouth, and then I want to go mm, with my dick lips. But bitches don't it. want teeth on their pussy. <laughs> okay, guys, stop That's arguing. Why. You're tearing this family apart. That's why you call it eating out. You have to have little sharp teeth. What are you talking about? You're a fake elf. I'm fucking real. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you want teeth on your penis and lips on your penis? I want monster little sharp teeth and lips. And then when, you, when you're when you done eating and you want to go up inside, you go, mmm. Chad, I feel, I feel like you have a, a, a skewed understanding. Yes, this seems like a real uh, careful what you wish for type no, of it's situation. It's definitely that. Yeah. Like, Are you guys this, genies? No, I... I've never asked you. I've I'm never asked any of you. That's a good genies. question. We might be genies. You have yeah, to should... ask first. It's like an undercover cop. <laughs> I've encountered them before, but I am not one. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. All right, let's go around the room, uh, ending with the timekeeper. Uh, let's mm. see. Chad Warren, are you a genie? No, I'm not a genie. Okay. Uh, let's see. Cake Boss, are you a genie? Cake Boss, no, but I am a wizard in the cake kitchen. Uh, very, it does not count, but very good. All oh, right. Okay. John Lennon, are you a genie? Um, well, let me just describe my house to answer this question. I live in a <laughs> small, foot-long home, gold, with a little thin pipe at the end of it. No, you are not a genie. No. No, that's your RV. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right. Ho-Ho, are you a genie? <laughs> Um, no, no. Okay, and Brad, are you a genie? <laughs> no, I hate them. They usually <laughs> cause trouble for me. Well, I'm not a genie, obviously, uh, so, um, you know, I guess that's it. Uh, we've had, we've asked Cody. everybody. You didn't ask the timekeeper. Oh. There's something I have to say. Oh, yes, timekeeper? I am... The timekeeper. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. So we no one knew a, that. No one's yeah. a genie, though. Oh, Doesn't no. look like it. No. <laughs> okay. No, no. Very cool. Cody. 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 Yeah, engineer Cody. Cody. Are you a, <laughs> are you a genie? He's eating. No. Shaking his head. No. So you're you you, you yeah. are you a genie? I sometimes. Turn on your microphone sometimes. for fuck's sake. I had to take, there's no. Inputs. There's no inputs. All he's right. He's a part time genie, but he said sometimes he's a genie. <laughs> 
Real genius have to say no twice, sometimes once, and then yes before they admit it. When you say there's no inputs and then you plug something into an input, what are you talking about? It's classic genie misdirect. Also, uh, the rule is genies. Yeah, you're on now. Engineer Cut, you're not a genie, right? You've been here for three years. A lot of weird shit's happened. Yeah, I've witnessed a lot of geniehood, but I'm not myself. Oh, no. you're not. Okay. Geniehood. Geniehood. All right. Uh, All right. I used turn to off the date mic. a geniehood. Chad, where did you learn? <laughs> Where did you learn the facts of life? Like, from that fat lady with all those girls in her house? That's Let's so sing that song. Weird. Charlotte what? Ray? You take the good, you take the bad. Fuck that bitch. How do you You're know that show? Those aren't the lyrics to it. it. Let's sing it. Those are not the lyrics. You take the good, you take the bad. No, no, you're going to. They have the facts of life. You're going to summon him. the facts of life. You're going to summon him. You got to go and tell you got to know about the facts of life. No. The facts of life. If the world never seems to believe it, up to your dreams. You got to run your mind the facts of life are all about. Wait, I think you're. I think, you. <laughs> I think you've summoned him. Oh my gosh! Summoned who? Uh, uh, did someone sing writer of, of the song? Facts of Life theme song, Alan Thick? Uh, hello, everyone. How is I'm? I'm certainly sorry to uh, barge in here. Like uh, this, but, uh, hey, I heard the Facts of Life theme being sung, and I uh, uh, had to come down here. <laughs> Maybe I did teleport. I, I have a hazy recollection. I was at a Denny's. I was having moons over moons, and. Uh, <laughs> Whoa. It's a move over my hammy, hold that. Eggs over eggs? Yeah, it's just uh, two eggs. My <laughs> on top of two other eggs. You're my nemesis. What? Who's this little fellow? Hello there, Hi. young man. How do you do? Are you, are you a fan of my reality show, Unusually Thick? No, but I like your son's naked girls and like how they hop when they walk. Oh, Robin, he's certainly a, a bit of a lad. What did uh, you think of his recent court case loss? Which one? Uh, oh, oh where, not the divorce. It was ruled. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> uh, mm, uh, uh, yeah, I, I think it's a terrible blow to uh, songwriters everywhere yeah. that uh, you can't just uh, make a song sound like another song yeah follow up some of the words follow up are you a genie mm, uh, b- b- genie i'm trying to think of what the canadian word would be gin uh, yeah that's me <laughs> you're yes. the genie yes, yes. Did, did anyone need any wishes yeah i do uh, uh, b- uh, did you teleport uh, him by the way from the denny's that you were at uh, uh, perhaps, perhaps, uh, uh, when I uh, teleported, uh, uh, I caused someone else to teleport as well. Oh, okay. You may have gotten caught in my wake, and uh, oh, okay. I don't. That I travels mean, both ways and times, future and past. Yeah, that's right. No, <laughs> okay. you've got a handle on it. <laughs> okay, uh, great. That's about yeah, the course. size of it. <laughs> Very good. Okay, now, uh, little boy, what's your name? Chad. Chad. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, Chad, did you have a wish? Chad. You, 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 I can grant you three. Don't, Chad. Don't. Don't. I want my teeth to have a little. I mean, your teeth to have. Okay, you're locked in. <laughs> you were locked in. Oh, no. This, no, this oh, is Wheel no. of Fortune rules. Yeah, That's I'm right. locked in. Okay, my first wish is I want my teeth to have a little dicks. <laughs> All right. <laughs> no. No. Get, no. Uh, how many teeth are in the human mouth? Just call them careful. What you wish for? You careful how 32, you wish. Same as the letters in the Canadian alphabet. Oh my God! Look at his mouth. He has 32 little tiny dicks in his mouth. Oh, they're all horny. <laughs> I thought they're, so little. Oh, it's like braces, but wait, they Wait a minute, you around. think these are big? I mean, I think they're average. <laughs> well, I don't oh, know. No, time keeper. keeper. Oh, they're boy. two-sized uh, penises. <laughs> I'd hate to be like around braces. when this fella brushes his teeth. Oh. Oh, I can't wait. Uh, <laughs> do you have any... Uh, you have two wishes left, Chad. Okay, so I'm going to... Think s- carefully. I would undo that one. <laughs> well, no, don't... Uh, timekeeper, let him... Uh, this is, you are the timekeeper. I sure, you're right. I am simply an observer. <laughs> it breaks <laughs> My code to get involved. <laughs> what, okay. How exciting to be around so many uh, weird supernatural people like the timekeeper <laughs> yeah. and Ho Ho. This Hello. is very exciting. And, John K- Lennon, and Cake Boss, of course. Of course. Cake Boss! Um, um, my second wish? Of a humanoid duck <laughs> wearing a top hat and a <laughs> reanimated corpse of John Lennon. Yeah. My second wish is this, this girl with the weird hair, this, the English one who says her name is John Lennon. I want her to have... Lots of tiny vaginas on her teeth so we can be together. Count a wish. Count a wish. <laughs> oh, this, now this is unprecedented. Uh, now this, uh, there are rules about this uh, sort of thing. And uh, you are granted one counter wish, but uh, that means that Chad will then get two more additional wishes. Oh, no. Are you going to do it? If this, Will it just keep coming back? Can she? Well, she, she, she can, no, she cannot re-wish a thing she? that she... Oh, thank you. Sorry, when I say I, she... I misspoke. Do you mean this misspoke. girl, John Lennon? <laughs> yes. Talking about yourself. 
only I could get involved. <laughs> but no, that's no, against no. the timekeeper's code. Timekeeper's I must to simply observe. He merely observes. <laughs> You're just a guy. <laughs> so John Lennon, what's your, what, uh, what's your counter wish? Oh, hold on. Now, wait a minute. I don't want vaginas in my teeth any more than I want uh, dicks on my hands. You know. How, how much have you thought about it? That's a very good point. I've given it just a, you know this moment's thought. <laughs> Let me still. You only have one more moment to do your counter wish. So much can time happen is, in a moment. May I? <laughs> right, timekeeper. <laughs> time is elapsing. You only have one moment. Hold left. on. Is it ta- is it <laughs> elapsing? Yes. Time, the ever time flowing jump. river. Sorry, oh. you, you've you've missed the chance to counter wish. That means it's uh, uh, open on the floor. If anyone wants to counter wish, uh, now's the time to speak up. So <laughs> everyone has to uh, with your someone, own wish. What's that? Like anything you want? Uh, yes, anyone is free now to counter wish. But Can you wish for more first. wishes? I'll uh, have an, no. I'll have uh, I'll have an I infinite have. supply of ripped up pieces of bread. Yep, uh, poof, it's done. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to start eating them, <laughs> okay. and I will not stop. I want- Why were you getting so mad earlier when they were saying they were eating eggs? <laughs> well, because, man, that's insane. You're eating what comes out of a cloaca of someone that I'm <laughs> probably in love with. <laughs> yeah, man, so you, you like my ham over my hammy. Exactly. I didn't eat your babies. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if I guess I would eat ham if you were if you presented it to me. Yeah, you would. Are you All right, friends it- with Wilbur? <laughs> Do you know Wilbur? All right. Anyone else have a counter wish? Yeah. Or do, okay. Well, I, want, I want ho ho. I want Santa to drive a tank instead of a sleigh. <laughs> oh, well, all right. Does Santa's magic powers counteract any of this, or? Well, that remains to be seen. I don't okay. know if uh, anyone here uh, has access to Santa Claus. I can FaceTime him. Okay, well, you but could. are you are you granting the wish right now? A uh, uh, poof. It's done. Okay. Oh. Santa Claus now <laughs> drives a tank. <laughs> Oh, what's well, your weird ringtone? It sounds like a human voice. It's FaceTime. Hello? Uh, is this Santa? <laughs> you bet your fucking ass it is. <laughs> well, hey, Santa. <laughs> what's up, dickhead? <laughs> Welcome back to the show. You... <laughs> Good to be here, question mark. <laughs> can, can you say your catchphrase? Oh, sure. Merry Christmas. Uh, I was thinking of you candy-ass no, motherfuckers. Look at this candy-ass motherfucker right here. All right. Well, welcome back to the show. Yeah. Uh, what wait. do you want? I'm busy. It's fucking... I gotta make wooden horses and shit. Have you checked on your sleigh today? Oh, let me look out the old window. Oh, fucking frost. <laughs> Scraping off here. What the fuck? <laughs> There's a huge desert storm tank out there. Do you there. like it, Daddy? What? Ho, ho, what are you doing down there? <laughs> well, you're supposed to be here at the Santa's workshop. I am doing a podcast. You're supposed to be... <laughs> what? You and your goddamn podcast. I like them. You're supposed to be shining up knives to give to naughty little boys. I did work extra. Wait, I so you know here. about... All right. You know about Ho-Ho's activities? Yeah, what, who do you think created the position? Oh, okay. I didn't realize they were sanctioned by you. Everybody gets toys on Christmas. All right, well, Santa, are you, uh, are, are, do you have magical powers? Are you able yeah. to counteract? Yeah, uh, I'm a fucking magical being. I'm thousands of years okay, old, Okay, you know, God, you're fucking testing. Wait, you, got, you got to reset who Santa Claus is? What no. the fuck? All right, but can you do anything about this tank of yours? Yeah. I'll just change it back into a sleigh. <laughs> you loop. There we go. God damn it. Hey, did you notice anything about that sleigh? It's missing a piece, isn't it? Hey, Don't tell him that. Yeah, yeah, I got it right here. Whee! <laughs> What's going on there? Ah, Kazoomis, Kazoomis! He's flown out I, of the screen. <laughs> I can't see him. I made it into a steak. <laughs> ho, ho. Oh, well. You are. Woo! Oh, I'm back. Ho, For vampires. Ho, ho, you're working my oh, last my. nerve, but I love you. I love you. <laughs> you're terrific. I love to work that nerve. <laughs> all right, well, bye, Santa Claus. Yeah, fuck all of y'all. Hey. Was that really Santa Claus? That was really him. It was truly Santa oh, Claus. Oh, I do believe in him now. Ah! <laughs> what? Ah! You don't believe in him I now? I do now. You do now. I knew. Well, then what are you going to wish for with your last wish, Chad? <gasps> oh, I get one more? Yes. Yeah, I believe I said you had two more, but, you know, well, for no, the no, sake no, of argument. No one did a counter wish. No one, that's right. Uh, and that counter wish was, uh, the one counter wish was countermanded by uh, yeah. Santa Claus. So uh, you have one wish left, Chad. Okay, I know what I want. Hmm. I want Santa Claus to be my dad instead of my dad. <gasps> That is. Well, that could be tough on one night. You'd miss him. 
Well, I miss my dad like every night, even though he's home because he's so empty inside. So you're asking for Santa Claus to have sex with your mother in the past? <laughs> Oh yeah, can you do that? Oh yeah, so not like a divorce situation. You <laughs> oh. want you want history erased and restructured? Yeah, what, if, what if your dad just gets a personality? Can you infuse Santa's personality into my dad? Uh, be... Well, you already re- wheel of fortune rules. You've uh, already yeah, wished for what you wished for. Wish for it. Curse these wheel of fortune <laughs> rules! They're uh, 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 real sticklers. Yeah. So how are you going to do this? You're going to do the divorce. You're going to do the going back in time. You could go back in time and put. Santa's come inside her father's balls. <laughs> and wait, if you if you if you do this, yeah. Timekeeper, do you want to go with? Well, yes. Now here's... I'd really love to observe ancient time. But do I get to keep my little tiny dicks on my teeth because I like them? Uh, well, no, because uh, 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 of course uh, we're altering history, mm. so everything changes. This is the problem with genie wishes: is the that the last effect. one, the last one, is always ironic, and so uh, it doesn't work the way you wanted it to. So you will be Santa's biological son, but you will never know that, and neither will Santa, <laughs> and you'll just have your same old drippy dad. This sucks. It and really it, does. Is it happening? Yep, it's done. Oh, hey, Chad, how are you? Hello, I'm fine. How's your dad? Oh, he's he's fine. He's just a boring guy. He really likes Christmas, but that's the only day he's excited about. Oh, interesting. Oh. Yeah. Well, hey, <laughs> I'm not sh- quite sure that lines I'm not, up with. I'm not either. <laughs> it does. I wrote it all down. <laughs> I'm checking it, checking it. Yep, we're all set. Check it twice, though, if oh, you're good. Anyway. That's not my job. <laughs> oh, that's Santa. That's right. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go back into a bottle of syrup. <laughs> oh, Bye. no. Is that where you're going? Oh. oh, Cake Boss, what do you think of Cake him? Boss. I don't think uh, he renders me so silent. Uh, yeah, speechless. Something about him. Yeah, I just uh, stand here with mouth agape just looking at him. Yeah. What is it about him, do you think? I think it's that the lower half of his body is a mist. <laughs> yeah. I'd never brought that up on the <laughs> yeah. podcast before. They never talk about it on Growing Pains and either. coming out of a genie bottle, a <laughs> yeah, syrup bottle. a bottle of maple syrup. Yeah, they yeah. probably blocked the bottom half of him with gra- bags of groceries. <laughs> <laughs> a lot stood, like what happened to you? He stood behind a lot of counters. So Maybe he, we've only seen him on a boat. Yeah. And his skin was as blue as a damn Navi. <laughs> all right. All right. Hey, I got that, it down. That, that seemed, off, you, that that seemed off brand for the timekeeper. Time <laughs> I didn't know you were racist against Navi. I've observed their activities. <laughs> and uh, that would be a film <laughs> All right. Well, guys, this has been an amazing uh, show. We really only have one thing left to do on it, and that is a little something called plugs. Promotional conduct, what could it be? A show on TV, maybe a physical product To order a lot of, a show to attend Again and again Well, shout your name out, plug it super loud I've got my credit card ready So plug it thing in now Plug what you do, it wouldn't be rude That was fantastic. That was Plug What You Do, and that's a good friend of yours, Engineer Cody Cody, right? Indeed. What's uh, his name, Brock or Brick? Brock Ginther. Brock Ginther. Thank you so much, Brock. Uh, what an honor to be on the sixth anniversary. Thank you so much for that. Uh, if you have a plug theme, head on over to Earwolf.com and put it in the appropriate thread in the Comedy Bang Bang message boards. You can be famous just like Brock. How do you know Brock? We went to school together. All right. Anyway, (laughs) what are we going to plug? Let's uh, go around the room. Uh, Chad, what are you plugging? Um, I follow this bitch on Twitter, uh, (laughs) at girl with a tail. She's okay for a girl. All right. Very good. And uh, Cake Boss. Cake Boss. Uh, I want to see my plug time to this guy, Paul F. Tompkins. And, uh, this, this has thing, never happened before. Uh, it's unprecedented, uh, but I think this guy needs a, <laughs> needs a break. Everybody should help him out. Um He's recording a, uh, a comedy a special that's going to air on Comedy Central, and it's happening June sixth downtown at the Palace Theater. Downtown his, New York. His, at the no, Palace Theater, not New downtown. York. No, not downtown. No, you sorry, you're interfering with the plugs. I'm sorry, I was downtown I was Los Angeles. And uh, why would anyone go down there? 
What is wrong with you? <laughs> what is the matter with you? <laughs> well, this is the rudish hey, behavior of the I rudish call person. It like I see it. Ugh. You know that about me, Cake Boss. Cake Boss. Let me just get this goddamn information out. <laughs> All right. <laughs> He's recording a special Saturday, June 6th, Palace Theater, downtown Los Angeles. It's not in New York, but it is on Broadway. Mm. And uh, you can get tickets at uh, paulftompkins.com forward slash live. Also, he's going to Australia with the Thrilling Adventure Hour. He's oh. going to be down there uh, May uh, 13th through the 24th, I think it is. Uh, tickets are on sale for that as well. And uh, also, Spontaneous Nation is his podcast right here at Earwolf. Oh, my goodness. That sounds amazing. And how much are these tickets to a special? They must be like $200 a piece. Ten bucks. What? That's right. He's papering the house. He didn't want to charge anything at all, but the budget was so small he had to defray the cost. I get He's it. He's not making any money off of this fucking uh, thing. And still he'll probably make it in the show business uh, and ans- ancillary benefits that he gets from the I don't buzz. know what that means. Okay. Oh, yeah. He's going to get paid in buzz bucks. <laughs> <laughs> all right. John Lennon. What do um, you got? <laughs> well, this summer I'm going to be recording a new album after I do... Backspace, I'm going to do Joshua Tree by you 2 put it on tape. <laughs> okay, great. We'll see you then. So look for me driving my RV around the country listening mm-hmm. to that mm-hmm. album, those two albums. And then go on Twitter and follow Ringo. All right, very Handle good. Handle my camera. Is he doing autographs anymore? Ringo? Yeah. Just for one special fan, me. <laughs> oh, He'll good. sign anything I want. <laughs> All right. Ho, ho, what oh, do you ho. have to plug? Uh, I want to plug a podcast called With Special Guest Lauren Lapkus because it's funny. Have you ever been on that? Um, I might be. Mm, very good. And uh, Brad, what do you like to plug? I want to uh, plug two things. One is my uh, guide on how to be a real man. It doesn't have a title. It's just an indecipherable uh, swath of mud okay. as the title. And then uh, the second thing I want to plug is uh, this guy, uh, Joe Wengert, is doing a, a sketch, solo sketch show at Austin Sketch Fest. Solo sketch show? What does that mean? Uh, it's going to be just him, I guess. Just him doing sketches? Uh-huh. Nobody wow. else? Just, I mean, there are going to be other people involved in the festival. An audience, but hopefully. But not during this guy's time. Not even like uh, Will Sasso or a Garrett Borsch? <laughs> no, I can say with 100% confidence that I can't imagine any way that Will Sasso or Garrett Morris will be appearing in this oh, show. Oh, man, now I want it to happen. <laughs> well, it is a sketch show, isn't it? Hey, I'll tell you what. I'm good friends with Joe Wigert. I will tell him. If either Will Sasso or Garrett Morris are in Austin, he's going to do everything that in his power to get them to do a walk-on, one-line part of the show. Will he fly them out just to do no, this? No, 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 no. If they are in Austin and they're also taking part of the festival, he'll explain this in the most convoluted way possible. Oh, wait, so they so. could be in Austin, but if they're not taking part of the festival, the deal's off. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> oh. I don't want to put either. Well, Joe doesn't want to put either of those guys out in any way possible. Mm. Saturday, May twenty third. Is that too late? No, that's great. <laughs> Perfect. Right. It's not too late. When that's... is it now? I'm a duck. I have no concept of time. <laughs> you, ha- you have. No- you just admitted it. Oh no. <laughs> 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 oh, look, I figured it out <laughs> in the course of the day today. Did you figure out which particular duck you are? That uh, took me a long time. You know what? Here's the thing. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a duck, and yeah. I, I just am sort of all ducks. Mm, okay, yeah. Uh, I want to plug, let's see, this Friday, the Comedy Bang Bang TV show. We have Still? Sky- that's still happening? Still happening. Yeah, we're not even uh, halfway through oh. the year. We have uh, a Skylar Astin from uh, Pitch Perfect and Pitch Perfect 2, the upcoming. Coming, uh, yeah, and uh, he's really funny. And uh, who is the other person on that? Garrett Morris. <laughs> yes, Garrett Morris. Oh, and Will Sasso, of course. <laughs> oh, uh, Lennon Parham is uh, uh, also on that show. Yes. Uh, so watch that Friday, 11 p.m. IFC, at 10 Central, and every Friday. And uh, let's see, Timekeeper, we're going to end the plugs with you. Go ahead. Well. <laughs> <laughs> As the timekeeper, I should simply observe and not become involved in the lives of men. (laughs) Certainly. But I would suggest if you're in Los Angeles seeing the improv group last day of school every Thursday at the UCB Theater on Franklin uh, at 11 p.m., and I think they'll be in New York at the end of June, the 26th or 27th, something like that. Look it up.
<laughs> well, you just sort of changed your way of speaking at the end there. I ran out of breath. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, let's close up the old plug bag. Here we go. Closing up the plug bag. Ding dong, 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 Brow. That is a good song. That's a good song. That is a good song. That song's okay. That's a great song. I didn't like that song. That song? It's good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, guys. Mm. This has been a wonderful six years. Thank you so much to everyone who listens. Thank you for everyone who came by today. I really appreciate it. Uh, I say another year and we're done. Mm. <laughs> I'm calling it now. Hooray! <laughs> Hear that, fans? <laughs> and time flows on. <laughs> All right, timekeeper. <laughs> we'll see you next week. Thanks. Bye. This has been an Earwolf Media production. Executive producers Jeff Ulrich and Scott Aukerman. For more information, visit Earwolf.com. 